on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Hey, I'm FTFE and welcome back to the channel that does to stupidity what Carol Baskin definitely did to her husband. That dude is Tiger Chow. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> uh, welcome for another Flat Earth debate. You guys are in for a treat tonight. Um, we, we've got returning to the channel JM Truth in what he is saying is his final words on the Flat Earth nonsense in general. Um, he, he, he seems to be fed up with a lot of the stuff surrounding it. And this is his final, hopefully in his case, triumphant say on the matter. But we'll see what, what happens. Um, before we get going, uh, I just want to say thank you all for watching. If you've just joined from the members and patrons only stream, hello again. Um, from now on, if you're a member or a patron to the channel, your, your support means the world to me. I literally couldn't do this without you guys supporting me. So whenever I've got a debate or a stream for an hour beforehand, um, when I'm setting up, I'm going to open up the stream to all my members and patrons. You can just come in and hang out and play some video games, get the guest in, have a laugh or whatever. Um, but welcome uh, if you've joined from that and welcome to everyone else joining now as we're getting going. Um, Team Skeptic is with us, who is going to act as a moderator tonight. He'll be fair and impartial. Uh, team, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. <clears throat> just all right? Just, uh, yeah, well, yeah, like I told you, man, I've been waking up really, really early to try to get, uh, try to be more productive through my day, and, uh, I woke up, and I got a little, I, I think I, I mentioned it one other time, I had, I had, like, uh, rescued a kitten that found her way to my doorstep, Aww. and, uh, well, she didn't find. She was at, She actually found her way to my bushes, and one day I heard her like meow, and I was like, "What the hell? There's a must be a cat in the tree or something." Me and my son couldn't find her, and then I came home one day uh, from doing something, and when I was walking up to my front door, I just see this black thing, and I was like, "What the hell was that?" Well, it was the cat. So, and it was no bigger than my hand. It was actually probably just, at the time, just slightly bigger than my palm. Aww. And I just couldn't let it, I couldn't let her be out in the wild like that. So I brought her in and, you know, trained her to use a litter box and have feet, or not feeding her. And now I'm trying to get my pit bull to like her, which he loves her because just he just sure is like, oh my her. God, something new. <laughs> No, he's 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 been around small animals before. Yeah, he's no, just it's, it's he's like a big, dogs and cats get on. The, but he, she won't. She wants nothing to do with him right now. So um, Nathan Thompson's in the chat. I just want to say, lecture. everyone, make sure you greet Nathan with the emoji um, that he will surely recognize. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm I'm glad you're doing a nice thing. Um, but yeah, thank you for being here tonight, team. Um, so what I've said to JM yeah, is you know, the conversations between him and I. Uh, up until the point where there's going to be question and answer, where um, we get some questions from the audience and uh, see how much Jim would like to answer. It's obviously up to him. Um, so why don't we go over to the guest, uh, JM Truth himself. Welcome back to the channel, Joshua Michael. How are you doing? Good. Thanks, Greg. Uh, thank you for joining me. I uh, do appreciate that you are slightly fed up with the whole flat earth thing in general, right? Let's, let's be clear, I'm fucking fed up with it. You're fucking fed up with it. Why is that? I'm just tired of the, of the narcissistic, arrogant, uh, on both sides, but right now I've got a beef with flat earthers that I'm just, I'm just kind of done with the, what I've seen. What I've seen in the community is not... Behind the scenes is not what they're trying to portray to the audience. So, right. So, I, okay. I've got better things to do with my time than to be arguing. Um, and really, to, to me, debates, what we're doing here really is not a debate. A debate is actually counting points and you actually have a, a panel and, and yeah. it, it, personal it, it, debates yeah. are, are more... 
I, I uh, mean, I suppose it's an amateur debate what we're having. Um, yeah, yeah. I would, I would actually very much like to have a professional debate moderated by people that are actually trained to moderate debates between myself and right. the flat earther and see who would actually win. That would be very interesting. But you are correct that what we have in these situations is is more of a structured conversation than a professional debate. Um, hi, Nathan. Uh, obviously messaging you already. <laughs> well, and <laughs> so... So, Someone so, just asked me why why am I shit talking for not? I, I I like flat earthers that are keep it honest. I'm against the narcissistic, arrogant people who have who believe that they are the end all be all. That's I mean, I don't think that's shit talking. I'm just I'm calling it the way I see it. You know, Nathan's my best friend. Nathan's one of the few people I know that have kept it really pretty honest and, and straightforward with most things um sorry it's just you know, hearing I'd, nathan and honest in the same sentence but, well but anyway. you know <laughs> you're on the other side of that craig so I, uh, i've known nathan now for a long time so nathan actually is a good is a good guy so uh, i do appreciate you coming and having your final word on flat earth here with me um so we're we're gonna have a all right, let's not refer to it as a bait. We're going to have a structured conversation that team will shout at either me or you if we start over talking or anything. And uh, the way it's going to work is we've both got 10 minutes to present evidence, um, then 10 minutes to rebut the evidence the other person brought up. Then we can have an open conversation and a question and answer session. Um, would you like to go first and present your case? Uh, it doesn't matter to me, Craig. Well, you're the guest, so why don't you go first? Okay. Um, so just whenever you're ready... Um, I'll start 10 minutes and you can just do your thing. You said you're just going to talk rather than present anything. So I'm going to keep it really simple. My, my goal here is not to convert anyone to flat earth is not it. My goal is to present information and leave the audience with the ability to go research for themselves as opposed to what we've been taught in school. So I guess I might as well get started before I, so my, my, little intro here is going to be you know first i grew up as a globe earther i used to believe the earth was round it was a ball and spinning okay that's like we all grew up that's the way i grew up the more research i did i found that a lot of what i was taught would appear to not be the truth or the case the earth that is spinning behind you craig is a cgi model every earth that you've ever seen that's spinning is also a cgi model um, there is no, that I'm aware of, there is no actual photograph or even moving film of the actual Earth. Um, and any attempt to prove that there is, uh, is folly at best. The, the cameras even that were used in the Apollo missions would have been destroyed by the radiation alone. So that's, that can be proven. You can go look that up. I'm really not gonna gonna argue all that stuff, but um, so basically, my first, my three arguments are this, and I'm gonna keep it to three because I don't want to go off on all these different tangents. First, major bodies of water on Earth do not curve under any circumstances. Um, there is no proof um, other than very badly explained video that water curves, but you cannot replicate it in the lab. And the definition of science is to be able to prove and replicate, prove and replicate, prove and replicate. So major waters of body, or major bodies of water, sorry, do not curve. Spin, the spin is, is, is a crazy argument in and of itself. We've been taught that we're spinning at 1100 miles an hour. If that were the case, that's one and a half times the speed of sound sound would not be able to keep up with uh, my, my, my voice. And it would be lost somewhere behind me. Um, so the other issue is you cannot have it both ways. If the earth is spinning and the atmosphere is not attached to the earth, then Coriolis would be a thing. But since it's attached to the earth, according to Globe Earthers, 
you cannot have a Coriolis. You guys have got to fix that and figure out, do we have a Coriolis or don't we? Now, I have done weapons for a long, long time. I've got armor men like Daryl Lee who will testify to the fact they never, ever, ever, ever use Coriolis when, when, counting, when accounting for rounds that are sending down range. I don't care about what um, some sniper off camera has to say. I know several snipers. Um, I've gone through a, a special weapons course myself. There is no Coriolis ever, ever, ever accounted for when firing any weapon that I'm aware of. Okay, um, and I've even shown the the, the evidence the the uh, the uh, argued evidence for the mortar manual, which um, I believe has been proven to be fraudulent now um, because that chart that they bring out now had was changed um, back in history so our years back so now it says Coriolis that's not actually what you're accounting for because the Coriolis shift for a, for any kind of a mortar round would be far greater than the mills in which they're showing on that chart that's actually a mills chart not a Coriolis chart um, I can probably change that to keep up the illusion that the Earth is spinning. Okay. Uh, so as far as that's concerned, there is no Coriolis. Coriolis, if there's a Coriolis, it either would affect everything or nothing. Coriolis doesn't pick and choose based on what is hovering above the atmosphere or in the atmosphere, what it's affected by. Um, and really, I don't care what... A, what any argument is, the fact that you have a motor in a, in a vehicle does not change the effect of Coriolis on that, on that object. It really doesn't. Uh, and you can actually prove that um, through tests that you can do in a lab. Okay. Um, the, and the biggest argument is, again, the law of thermal, uh, the, law, the second law of thermodynamics, uh, you cannot have a gas pressure it doesn't matter how large or small of gas pressure. You cannot have a gas pressure, also known as atmospheric pressure, without a sealed container, period. Okay? Without a sealed container. So, um, you know, until we are able to wrap our heads around the fact that we may have been lied to, and for anyone that says we could not possibly have been lied to, doesn't understand that we've been lied to a lot in our go through our governments and the world world governments and all that stuff. So, for anyone to think that it's impossible, just go look at our education archives, and you will see lots of different philosophies that change over time. Okay, and they've got philosophies for all kinds of things that have been proven wrong and and re and re brought and proven wrong and reintroduced it's it's really um until we as a society give a shit about what the truth the truth is and we stop believing our handlers or also known as government agencies and um the ruling class uh, and decide that we're going to go out and test these things for ourselves we're never going to know the truth um again I've gone out and done a laser test at 35, 36 miles distance at four feet off the ground. I don't care what refraction index you bring up unless you can actually calculate that shit um, and show me where my evidence is wrong. Shut the fuck up. That's, uh, you know, I'm tired of hearing refraction index and no one actually being able to pull the numbers out and they pull this, this argument out of their ass and throw it at you and go, oh, refraction index, refraction index. What the fuck is the fraction index anyway? Anybody, no, you know, I have yet to have anyone prove my experiment or my actual measurement wrong. It really wasn't an experiment, I guess it was a measurement. Um, uh, of course, Nathan, they put you on timeout. They don't want to hear you. 
Um, All right, uh, guys, don't, 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 don't time out Nathan uh, unless he's being abusive. Um, uh, let him. Hey, there's there's do no. His thing. There, yeah, there, there's no need to even let him chat in the chat. None of us are children. He has nothing important to say. Well, maybe to you, but he may have something important to say to somebody else. No, Just I'm saying you we're not kids, you. so it's, he, he's not even, no, we're not kids, so he's not going to be interested in talking to any of us. <laughs> I think team was making a joke. But uh, anyway, Jay, you've got, you've got uh, like a minute left uh, if you want like to. A minute left. So the bottom, the bottom line is, like I said, I grew up as a globe earther. I grew up wanting to be an astronaut, all that shit, until I started diving in and doing my own research and not being affected by, and no offense, Craig, but people like, Fights of Flat Earth and other Globe Earthers who were on the opposite argument um, trying to sway me back to their side. Um, I actually had to come at it from a perspective of um, trying to prove that the globe was real, not that the globe was wrong. I never ever went out to prove the globe wrong. I went out to prove what I had been taught was real and found it wasn't. I will oh, concede my time. Seconds, Jam. All right. Well, the retard was strong with that one. Fight the flat earth. Uh, do you have anything to say? Um, thank you for that, JM. Um, hey, question. It, are we, uh, and I know you just can't help yourself, team, but the insults is not. Okay, I apologize. Hey, fight. Hey, fight, you fucking yeah. moron. It's your yeah. turn. There all you right. go. Now we're even. All right, butt munch. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's just having fun, Jim. Don't, 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 don't worry. I know. Um, yeah, uh, e evidence that I asked for. Anyway, uh, right. So I'll, I'll, I'll do my thing. Cause I've written some that I prepared. So let me just bring some up. Give me one second. And team, if you could start a ten-minute timer for me when I start. All right. Go ahead. All right. Dip shit. Go on then. All right, so um, this is Flat Earth Debate 149 for me, uh, and the one thing I've never understood is why no Flat Earther ever actually brings any positive evidence that exclusively supports the magic pancake world, like not once, ever. What they usually turn up with is some kind of misunderstanding of, of Coriolis, just like Nathan Thompson is, is known to do. Um, I just want to give an, exp uh, an example of Nathan Thompson's thing. <laughs> Bloody. <laughs> oh, I've lost the thing I, I was going to use. Right, here it is. Nope, that's not the right one. I'm failing. It's been a long day for me, guys. Here we go. All right. And where from all you're studying for the debate or for the <laughs> debate. Uh, no, look, it's been a long day with the kids, honestly. Um, and I've just totally forgotten where I've put in all the bits that I was using. Here we go. All right. So, yeah. So Nathan Thompson's misunderstanding of Coriolis, which is this. Because they are farther outward from the center of the earth. So a column of air will not move as one cohesive body as a result of moving your hand back and forth through the air or as a result of the earth spinning a thousand miles an hour. That's not what happens. That's not how fluid dynamics work. And good thing that's not Craig's argument. Craig's argument was the atmospheric blender. I can fucking assure you, Nathan, that was what would really my happen to the atmosphere shush, if the Earth shush. spun. Yeah, I can assure you, Nathan, that was not my fucking argument. The atmospheric blender is not my argument at all. Um, they don't understand Coriolis, so they just come with misunderstandings of what Coriolis is, or claims that gas pressure can't exist next to the vacuum of space, or even straight up ignoring refraction like in the infamous Black Swan. So, um, basically what they come with is a misunderstanding of basic physics, or they play the definition game and try to win a scientific debate with a dictionary, or a misunderstanding of the implications of the scientific method. In short, they have never shown evidence that's positive for a flat earth, but instead debunk what they think with their own very limited understanding of science, what the heliocentric model is. Then they claim victory, shit all over the chessboard and, uh, and run away. Why is there never any evidence presented that supports the flat earth? It's simple. There isn't any. 
and it's not like I'm actually asking for, for much. Um, you, you say, you guys say that you're flat. So I'll ask something simple, like where are the measurements of flatness? It shouldn't be hard to get a qualified geodesic surveyor, um, like, like we know several of them. So it shouldn't be hard to get a qualified geodesic surveyor to come out and measure this flatness that you will talk about. But it, it doesn't ever happen. Um, our side have measurements, right? Flat earthers always go, well, where's the measurable curve? Well, the thing is, we have measurable curve that's been shown many, many times. And fellow debunker of nonsense, MC Toon, has actually gathered them in a handy page, mctoon.net forward slash r. There are measurements of the radius of Earth that have been done by people whose job it is to measure the Earth. Surveyors. Um, we can talk about um, the fact can't that... can't make out any of that, Craig. Sorry, uh, I didn't mean to interrupt you. But... Uh, let me just increase the thing going to you. One sec. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, okay, sorry. So... Um, Surveying teams from all over the world have taken part in massive projects using known surveying methods and all come to the same conclusion, right? That the Earth has a radius of approximately 3,950 miles. Separate teams from Alexander um, Ross Clark's team's account of the observations and calculation of the principal triangulation um, dimensions and mean specific gravity of Earth as derived from the survey of Great Britain or Sir George Everest's account of the measurement of two sections of the original arc of the Americas, um, or the Ocean to Ocean Survey, the tri transcontinental triangulation of the American arc of the parallel. There's so many more, but the point is that every single one of these teams who didn't work together and even lived in different time periods all got the same results, making no assumptions. The Earth has a curve and it is measurable. See, Flat Earth, that wasn't hard, was it? Measurements, evidence for what we say. And to put the point home, all pictures from space back up everything that the measurements and observations on the ground say. And most importantly, this is measurements that are repeatable by anyone. Sure, you might need to do a bit of studying on how to survey, but any Flat Earther could do it themselves. But instead, they show us photos with no data to back it up and go, Earth's flat, bro, look at the horizon. Cool story, give me measurements. What else can we do? Well, us globe cultists also say the Earth rotates. Well, you say the Earth is motionless. Well, how about some measurements of this motionlessness? Come on, Flat Earth, that'll end the debate. But what happens, everyone? What happens when a Flat Earther tries to show that there is no rotation to the Earth? I mean, I love this clip, so I might as well play it. If the Earth is spinning at one rotation every 24 hours, that means that every hour it has to turn 15 degrees. And if the gyroscope is mounted anywhere on Earth, it's going to drift. In today's 21st century navigation systems, they're using what's called a ring laser gyroscope. It is extremely precise. If we could simply get one of these ring laser gyroscopes, we would be able to prove once and for all that there is no rotation to the Earth. One of the people in the community actually purchased one for $20,000. But what we found is, is when we turned on that gyroscope, we found that we were picking up a drift, a 15 degree per hour drift. Yeah, thanks Bob, that's right. Every time any interferometric gyroscope on the Earth is turned on, it measures Earth's rotation in three axes. And it's not just Bob that's measured this. MC Toon has once again um, compiled a list of a bunch of measurements of rotation of the Earth. Just bring that up so you can see it and anybody can go to this page. This is mctoon.net forward slash spin. Um, and there's loads. A whole bunch of measurements using optical gyroscopes and non-optical devices that actually measure that the Earth rotates. Um, and there's no reason why all these things would pick up the same measurement if the Earth wasn't rotating. If the Earth was flat and motionless, a micro-mechanical yaw rate gyro would not pick up the drift that it does. If the Earth was flat and motionless, the gentleman physicist would not have been able to calculate his latitude on the globe purely from the drift of a pendulum. There is absolutely no reason why this would happen if the Earth was flat and motionless. No energy can cause that drift to be 
pa uh, you know, to be able to give you your latitude on the globe and it be accurate. There is no reason for that to happen. So my point is that there's all this evidence that the Earth does indeed curve. There's all this evidence that the Earth rotates. There's so much of it. Yet there is absolutely zero evidence to suggest that the Earth is flat and motionless. And that's it. We have measurements. Flat Earth doesn't. doesn't. Measurements of the curve of the Earth, of the radius of Earth, all backed up with mountains of evidence. And we also have ample evidence that the Earth rotates, for which I will be eternally thankful to Bob Nadell. A 15 degree per hour drift. Thanks, Bob. And that's my argument. We have measurements, you don't. Have you realized Bob didn't say the Earth was spinning? He said he, he measured a drift. That doesn't mm -hmm. mean it is rotating because the sky could be rotating. <laughs> <But. laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I was reading something in the chat. No, I was reading something in the chat. Um, all right. So you, what, what, what's the next uh, position? What, what's the next uh, segment that we go to fight? Well, the, JM the, has the 10 minutes to, uh, yeah, no, JM has 10 minutes to rebut refute? my, okay. yeah, ref, refute my specific evidence okay. that I brought um, J, Well, if it's on, okay, so if it's on refutation, I'll, I'm going to give JM the option of refuting your evidence first or having him refute his evidence first. Uh, what would you like to do, JM? Wait, do what? Either you refute me or I refute uh, you. You would. Yeah. Oh, I can, I'll give I you can the go. option of what what you would like to do. I can go. Okay, JM Truth will go first, and he'll be addressing fight the flat Earth and only fight the flat Earth evidence in this round. Is that correct, fight? Yeah, just the things that just I brought like up I in that presentation. Okay. You said you said the radius right, of Earth. Go, uh, you said the radius you, of okay, Earth. Okay, you're is starting now. Ten, you have ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead. You said the radius of Earth is three miles? It's, I said it's 3,950 miles, approximately. You're actually off by 4,000 miles. Miles, okay. not kilometers. If you, go, if you go online and you look up the radius of Earth, it's 7,900 miles. No, that's, right. that's kilometers, not, not miles. Oh, Lord. No, I'm looking at it right here. It's miles, bro. Oh, Lord. It's 12,000 kilometers. And seven thousand uh, miles. You're looking at the diameter. JM, you're looking at the diameter of the Earth, not the radius. Divide that number by two, and you'll get the number that fight the flat Earth said. Yeah, it's um, three thousand nine hundred and forty-six at the polar um, is the polar radius. Then three thousand nine hundred and seventy something, I think, is the equatorial radius. The diameter. Okay. All right. Actually, I, th yeah, I stand corrected. It is 7,000. Uh, well, okay. That's what threw me, I guess, because I know that when I went to Iraq, it was over 7,000 miles, and it's almost exactly opposite us where we're at and where we were at in Washington uh, State. So, um, but you're right. It's the diameter, not the radius. Yeah. Okay. So... My, so basically, first of all, again, Bob, you keep using Bob as your argument for shit, and Bob did not by any means, Bob did not by any means say the Earth was spinning. He said he, the gyroscope detected drift. Now, the problem is, and, and I'm going to blow a hole in your, in your thank you, Bob, forever, because a... Laser gyro has three, I believe it's three axes that it measures. The drift was only measured on one axis. If, in fact, the Earth was spinning, it would have to be measurable on all three axes. Okay. So I would, I would highly recommend you stop using that <clears throat> drift comment as a... What, what if I told you I have video of Bob saying it measures it on three axes? It's well. If you don't understand how the laser gyro works, it it measures three axes, mm -hmm. x, y, and z. Mm -hmm. The drift is only measurable. The, the drift is only measurable, I believe, on one axis. I've had a long talk. I've got this on <laughs> film with with Bob, actually, <laughs> and it's only measurable on one axis, which oh proves God. the Earth is okay, not spinning, <sighs> but something is in fact spinning. 
Uh, I know you're going to bring up the uh, the argument in the room with Nathan, right? Uh, I already know what you're going to bring up. I'm, 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 this is your ten minutes. I'm trying. I'm trying not to interrupt, but um... well, you you insult every flat earther's ability to understand physics, and the basic physics of thermal dynamics is that you cannot have a gas. Pro I mean, the fact, Craig, that you have done physics and you're denying the second law of thermal dynamics is hilarious to me. Because we learn in basic science class, you can't have a gas pressure. We did it with a balloon without having a sealed container. The fact that you think that a vacuum can sit opposite a positive pressure system and that that pressure system does not leave its location to fill the negative space actually is what defies physics. Gravity doesn't even account for it, bro. So use the word gravity all you want. It does not account for it. You cannot prove it in a in a uh, scientific lab. Okay. It's um, it's. I mean, I didn't. I didn't quite, bring. I didn't bring up any of that in, in my argument. I'm just saying. <clears throat> yeah, you said that flat earthers don't understand uh, uh, the law of thermodynamics. I mean, I, I, that's I what you said. At first, don't understand basic physics, but right. Well, and then you then you made the argument that gap that we are stupid because we believe that you can't have a pressure next to a negative or a negative pressure, a vacuum. Sorry, it's really not a negative pressure system, but just so that somebody doesn't say shit about that. Um, what was the other? What was one of the other things you said? Well, I, I gave um, repeatable measurements. Oh, the, the pendulum. I, dude, like I, it's like talking to archaic scientists. A pendulum does not prove rotation of the earth. Like it, it's, and, it, and all pendulums eventually stop swinging. So it, it, it just, it's complete ridiculousness. And again, you're on a spinning ball. There should be some uh, calculation for the um, thrust against the body in the negative, in the opposite direction of gravity. Okay. Again, if I hold a rock, if I tie a rock to a string, and I swing it round and round, and I let that string, I let that string go, that rock flies where? Away from me. That's again basic physics. So could you say that again? There should like be some calculation for what? For the for the op, for what what I refer to as centrifugal force. But you so, want to say, well, centrifugal force really isn't a real force. So, so you know, there should even be some calculation for centrifugal force. Okay. There should be a calculation against gravity for centrifugal mm -hmm. force. Ah, yes. Okay. Right. It's cool. not. Sorry, I just wanted to get the note right. All right. Um, what else? Oh, and as far as a measurement for curve, I think it's funny you, you nobody's brought any evidence. Craig, how long have we been doing this, man? I gave you a laser, I gave you a laser experiment at 36.5 or 7 miles, bro, at four feet off the ground. Uh -huh. And your only argument for that was refraction. I mean, you can... Which doesn't account, oh, sorry, which doesn't account for that, by the way. I you mean, brought no numbers, no, no scientific notation. You simply, you simply threw out a word and said, well, refraction covers that experiment, and the experiment is null because I said refraction. Dude, nobody, as far as I know, has ever done a 36.5-mile laser experiment and brought it to bear for an audience. Nobody that I know of. I've done it, and everybody's like looking the other way. Whatever. So uh, there has been proof. And evidence. Um, I've even brought scientific notation from NASA, and that gets pushed off, you know, as oh, that's that's all just you know, palaver and bullshit. Well, all right, you know, again, this is part of the reason I'm done. I'm kind of done debating because I'm not here to make you believe or disbelieve. Cool. I'm here so that hopefully your audience 
will grow a brain and go, hey, I need I mean, to go... Just, just, to, just to help you out, my main, ar- my main argument was the fact of all the measurements that we have of the curve. That, that was kind of the main point of all that. There, there is no measurement of curve, Craig. I mean, I kind of showed there it. There is but... none. And you bring up pictures from of, Na- uh, of the Earth from space. I, I don't know how many fucking people got to do uh, a documentary showing that every picture on the NASA website is fucking bullshit. Like, it's CGI, it's paintings. I mean, uh, just, just to help you out, you just yeah. said that there, there is no measurements, but this, I mean, this, this is one of the measurements. Um, I just wasn't sure what you meant when you said there's no measurements when uh, there's all, well, okay. all these measurements. That's a mathematical equation. That's not a measurement. No, this is it's, it's measurements. What did they measure? What did they the, measure, Craig? The radius of the Earth? No, they didn't. They came up with the mathematical equation and threw it out as a measurement. It's not a measurement. Do you understand what a measurement is? You take a laser and you go out and you measure a distance. And if the laser goes 36 miles without being obstructed by a 266 foot wall, that's a measurement. What? <laughs> I mean, what you're looking at, bro, is just numbers on a page. No, no, it's, it's, not a me- it's measurements that, when mapped out, form a sphere. Every one of these is measurements, okay. actual, anybody, not, not okay. mathematical anybody equations, just mapped out. Anybody can do a mathematical equation and make a no, circle, no, bro. No, it's not a mathematical equation. It's measurements that, when mapped out, form a sphere. And the, um, I mean, I know this is your ten minutes, but I'm, not, just just to help you because the, the, you're not really debunking the point that um, all of the, uh, where is it? All of them from different parts of the Earth from different periods in time. They all measured, making no assumptions just using known surveying methods, they all measured the same thing. So that's and, kind of what you need to do. And yet there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of surveyors who've gone out and measured a flat surface. Could you tell me one, please? So, sure. His name is Chris Van Mitri, Bob Nodell, and Robert Scott. I was there. I filmed it. Bob Nodell isn't the surveyor. I didn't say Bob Nodell was a surveyor. Chris Van Mitri is a surveyor. Bob Nodell was at the at the measurement. So was Robert me. Scott. So was myself, Nathan Thompson. We all went out and measured a flat flat surface of the Earth. Using what methods? Go on to FE Core and you'll find the the land surveyor laser um, equipment. I, I'm I'm not a land surveyor, dude, but I'm. He explained it and explains it on video and explains how it works. I mean, a land surveyor is a land surveyor, bro. They, if anybody, scientist or otherwise, a land surveyor better know how to use this fucking equipment or when they build buildings, those buildings would fall. Land surveyors don't build buildings. I mean... Land surveyors la- survey the land for construction companies. Yes, they do. They don't... They don't okay, they don't build buildings. I, okay, here are the ones that survey the land... For construction crews, for construction companies, you understand that, yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm Before just saying I they build, don't. I'm just saying they don't build the buildings. Right? What's that? I'm just saying they don't. They don't build the buildings. No, no. If I said that, that's not what I meant. You come on, you know, that's not what I meant. Okay, I'm so, just looking at the. Yeah, you know, that's. I mean, that's that's pretty. Okay. Um. Uh, just want to read you one one sentence from the, the the surveying thing that they did. The Forster level measurements differ from the standard surveying process. Well, I don't really care okay. if they differ from the standard surveying process, then it doesn't really matter, does it? That that was just well, the no, thing it does. Was... Read read on. Just because somebody since we are testing the reference data over an observably non-convex surface, it's making an assumption and then saying they're not going to take into account spherical excess because of that. That's not really how it's done. Are you a land surveyor? I know several. Are you a land surveyor? I know several, and I've been discussing and studying this quite a lot. Okay, Chris Van Mitri has been a land surveyor for many, many years. I'm reasonably confident 
when it comes to being able to survey, he's probably a little more expert. He has a little more expertise than you do. I, I, I mean, I'd, I'd be skeptical of the only land surveyor in existence that doesn't measure a curve. But. He's not the only land surveyor in existence. What he's saying is no land surveyor takes into account curve. Go ask any land surveyor on the earth. Do you know what spherical Nobody access takes into account do, you know, curve. do you know what spherical access Nobody. is? Yeah. The access of a sphere? No, no, no. Spherical, on, access. Right? spherical access, JM, in, in surveying. Spherical excess? Yes, that's something they use access. in surveying. Spherical excess, something they use in surveying okay. because it's in reference to a geoid. Right. But what is your, why don't you read that? And maybe you'll understand why he doesn't use it. Well, maybe I will and do a video yes. on why yes. he's incredibly it's kind wrong. Of pathetic, right? I mean, I'm just showing you other surveyors that disagree with him and all the measurements that we have. Um, so, just just saying. Okay. Okay. Uh, but then, the, the, so, how long has he got left, team? Team, you there? Team? Team's like, fuck it, I'm done with this. <laughs> uh, still connected. Team, you there? Have I muted him or something? No? Oh, well, he's not there. Um, well, I think you're 10 minutes done, but um, I was also talking uh, yeah, about... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I, I also talked about the uh, the fact that we always Hello? do measure rotation. Hey, you there? <laughs> so, Craig, Craig, is this a discussion? Or is it... because if Sorry? it's not a discussion, technically you interrupted multiple times just... Sorry, I, I I wanted to help you get back on track of, of, of discussing my I, I do have a couple of questions, though, before we move on to the next portion. Uh, I do have a couple of questions just for clarification. Uh, you said in uh, when you spin a rock around your head uh, for the centrifugal force and you, let's say you were to snip the line, that the rock would go away from you? Correct. That's incorrect. Are you denying the that? The rock would continue traveling. I'm 100% denying it. The rock would travel in a straight line. Away from you? No. <laughs> a straight line. If wait, we don't wait, have a straight wait, line wait, pulling wait. it towards you anymore as it circles your head, it carries a linear velocity. And the moment that you cut it, you no longer have the the, centri uh, the centripetal Gee, force the pulling it back towards the center. Away from you, it doesn't travel in a circle. Okay. It travels away from you. When you let it, it go, in a straight it line. Look, I don't give a shit if it's in a straight line. The point is, the distance at which the rock is in the string, when I let go of it, if you measure that distance, it's going to be farther away from you than when it was on the string. Right? Right, because it's not traveling denying in a that. straight line. But it's not traveling. It doesn't it's not matter going if straight line or not. It's traveling, in a it's traveling along the tangent of the circle, not away from you. It is not traveling along but the string. It is not traveling on the tangent of the circle. It is no longer traveling there. Yes, it is. It is, it is moving in a straight line. It's always traveling along the tangent of a circle. Right. And anyway, anyway. Let's, let's, it's always let's... traveling along the tangent. That's what the centripetal force is. That's the yeah. first thing. And then the second thing I wanted to ask you was, uh, are you, uh, what, you said the second force law of what? I, I, I'm sorry. The... Team. Go ahead. I'm centripetal sorry, force is the Go opposite ahead. force than the centrifugal force. Right. Understand. So if you don't have a centripetal force, you do, yeah. So if you don't have a centripetal force, you don't have a centrifugal force, right? What, what's you your point? What is your point? Okay. So if you can, if you take away the centripetal force, you the, take away the centrifugal force, and the, the object will I not travel the, away the, from the, you. Rock around my head, and I let it go. That rock is going to travel away from me. I don't care what <clears> direction. Okay. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, hold on. Let me ask you a question, JM. Let me ask you a question. Let's say just we're going to mark a point in this circle and we're going to call it the release, okay? And we're going to draw a line from ourself to that release point, all right? Now we're going to swing this circle, this rock around our head. Now the rock is feeling an outward push. This is like a gravitron pushing you up against the wall. No offense to team. I'm just asking you a question, man. I'm just asking you a question. 
No, you're not asking I'm asking a question. question. Now you're... Can you not answer my question? You said you're a fucking yeah. master of physics. You can't answer this question, dude. I never said I was a master of physics. I never said that, team. Master and you're science, lying to your audience. Right. You, yeah. you've, you've, you've yeah. said here and multiple times and, and said that you have a good grasp on physics and you should be easily be able to answer this question. Easily. I'm not trying to give you a trick question, Jam. I'm just trying to ask you to, to clarify right. for the audience something you said. That's it. What, what are you getting so triggered about? I'm not, first of all, why are you getting are, upset that I'm asking you can, this question? Can I, can I present my, 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 my evidence? Uh, I'm not getting triggered. I'm getting pissed off because you're interrupting now and okay, you're supposed to be sorry. the fucking mom. Right. Can That's I, my point. Can I do my... Um... I, I waited between the rounds and I'm asking you to clarify something you fucking said in your fucking presentation. No, wait, wait As a moderator, wait, I think I'm allowed to do that. Wait till the section... I, you ask... guys were fucking done, you fucking idiot. You were done. <laughs> okay, can I... Can you I just do... said it. I just asked you to clarify that. Do you can understand I... that? Call me a fucking idiot. Fucking Call me moron. a fucking idiot. Shut up. All right, all right. Shut can up. I, can You're can an I idiot. Evidence? Go can ahead, do... fight. You have ten minutes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Fight. Go. Fight. This is this is fair to you, bro. No, I'm trying to bring like, it back. He, he didn't he didn't interrupt either, and he was just ask, asking a question. But uh, I want to present my evidence. I asked you to clarify something, yeah. JM. Yeah. All right. Well, if you need us to call you a wambulance, we will do that. All right. All right. Let's move on. Right. My 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 rebuttal to to what you were saying, JM. All right. Um, things that you said, uh, team. Would you mind starting a ten minute timer? <laughs> Um, things that you said, you said yep. there's no real pictures of Earth. Um, that's plainly false. There is many, many, many real pictures of Earth, JM. Um, I, I'm sure I've gone through this with you many times back from, from the night. From space? Yes, absolutely. The 1972 no, no. Blue Marble. Um, Echo Star 11 Not was a satellite. Not real pictures been developed already many times, Craig. Uh, yeah, it, it's, I mean, a real picture that was developed in, in film, but it's just one of the examples of photos that there are all over the place. Even the 2012 Blue Marble is still a real picture, even though it was put together in Photoshop because it was a merger of many strips because the satellite and was closer to the Earth. it's not a photograph. Um, but there's many, many photos from uh, from orbit that show the Earth to be real, and they're all backed up by real-time data from Himawari. To, you know, to constantly say there is no real photos is plainly false when we get real photos all of the time. Um, I mean, you can deny what they are and we can debate exactly what they are after I've finished. But the fact is, there is real photos of Earth. They're, they're fucking easy to find. You can find one that was taken less than 10 minutes ago if you go to the Himawari site. Echo Star 11 was a 24-hour live stream of Earth from space that was operated for a long, long time. You know, these things are easy to find. So you can't say there's no real things when I can literally go, well, there's a 24-hour live stream. You know, there is, yeah. there <laughs> is the evidence. Yeah, uh, shot on a green screen. That's been proven wrong too. No. Uh, yes. Right. So anyway, uh, you say water does not curve and it can't be replicated in, in a lab. Well, I think you mean that gravity can't be replicated in a lab. Um, gravity isn't something you can replicate. It is something that happened because of something else. Um, we call it an emergent force. Uh, it's a consequence of the curvature of space-time and the manifestation of that for us, which is within Newtonian physics, there appears to be some kind of attraction between masses and that absolutely can be replicated in a lab and is done all of the time with the Cavendish experiment. That is simple, easy observation that there is an attraction. And when you do the maths, based on the numbers that you can get from the Cavendish experiment, the mass of the Earth will give a gravitation that is more than enough to cause Earth to curve, uh, the water to curve around Earth. We've shown many, many times of observations of something that is beyond the curve of the Earth. That doesn't happen if the Earth doesn't curve. Um, we can literally show you uh, the uh, curve of the Earth manif manifested in things like sound these observations from Pontrachain or, you know, yes, the, the black Earth swan photo shows the horizon beyond the actual oil rigs, but that is because when we're talking about what we're seeing, we have to take into account refraction. And it's not just this be all and end all that you seem to think we're using. Refraction is things that you have to take into account when viewing things. 
And when you take into account refraction, the things that you see clearly show that there is a curve that things are going behind. Um, then you said the spin of the earth, um, the, uh, our voice would be lost behind it. Um, I, I, think, I think you said that because the, of the tangential velocity of Earth, say at the equator, is 1,050 miles an hour, and the speed of sound is like 700 miles an hour. Is that what you mean? Obviously. Right, cool. Um, speed of sound is relative, right? Um, it's relative to a medium. There is no speed of sound in space because there is no medium. So the speed of sound is you're relative... Not in space. No, you're you're in, you're you're, you're in in the atmosphere, which is moving with the Earth, which means that the speed of sound is whatever the sound waves travel through the medium of the atmosphere, so that you can have them, hear them, which um, at normal barometric pressure is about seven hundred miles an hour. Underwater, it's a lot, lot more because water is a lot denser, right? So no, your voice wouldn't leave behind you because you're in the atmosphere, which is carrying the sound waves. So if you are at the equator and you're traveling at a, a tangential velocity of 1,050 miles an hour and you shout, those sound waves are traveling 1,050 miles an hour plus 700 miles an hour because they already have the momentum of 700 miles an hour. And this gets into what you guys are saying and the thing that you brought up about if the atmosphere is spinning, then there can't be a Coriolis because that would mean that there things would move underneath the airplane or whatever. None of you actually know what the Coriolis is. The Coriolis, and this is very important, Jim, because a lot of you sound really silly when you say this. The Coriolis force is not the Earth rotating underneath things. That's not what it is. The Coriolis force is literally the law of conservation of angular momentum, right? So the easy way to explain what the Coriolis is, is at the equator, you've got a tangential velocity of 1,050 miles an hour. And just above that on the sphere, you've got a tangential velocity of 1,000 miles an hour, right? If you are ballistic and you're fired directly north from the equator, you carry that tangential velocity of that extra 50 miles an hour as you move into the area of the Earth that is traveling less, that has a lower tangential velocity, which means that you have an extra bit of momentum and that causes you to drift ahead of the rotation. So it's not the Earth drifting underneath anything. It is conserving the momentum from the part of Earth that you are on. And that's what can cause hurricanes because a, a low pressure will draw in air, which as it goes down will reflect to the left. And as it goes up, will reflect to the right. And that makes a circle and causes well, the pressure, pressure because of the Coriolis. Air, yeah. A vacuum. No, but we but do fuck. have gravity, right? Yeah, and, th th and, and then th this goes to um, what, wait, so that's what you get wrong about Coriolis, and it all makes sense. The atmosphere moves with the Earth, uh, you know, there's no problem with that. And you said no motor would make a difference to Coriolis. Of course it does, because that means external forces are applied. If external forces are applied, that means the sum of forces, including the Coriolis, will be different. So then we get to the second law of thermodynamics, right? JM. Sim I need to ask you one question. What is the second law of thermodynamics? We've been through this, Craig. Just fucking go on with your argument, bro. N no, it's important to my argument that, that I know what you think the second law of thermodynamics is. So what is the second law I've of thermodynamics? At nauseum, I'm not explaining it again. No, I just want you... No, I don't want you to explain it. I want you to state what the law is. Do, do you know what the law what the law is yes yeah, state what the second yeah. law of thermodynamics is so <sighs> craig move on with your argument dude. right so the second law of thermodynamics is um the total entropy of an isolated system will never decrease over time right uh, and is constant if and only if all processes are reversible, right? When you guys say the second law of thermodynamics is gas pressure can't exist next to a vacuum, you all sound like idiots because that's not the second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics you, governs the total it, entropy it, of an isolated system, right? It is the law of entropy and it is no. part of the second law of thermodynamics, bro. All um, high energy 
systems will flow into low energy systems. No, no, it's no. Uh, uh, wait, wait. Uh, you said gas. You weren't talking about energy. You very specifically said matter. gas, yeah. right? Okay. Please tell me you understand the basic idea that gas is a fucking energy. Yes, JM, I'm getting to the fact that what you're saying is wrong because the second law of thermodynamics doesn't state unequivocally that gas pressure can't exist next to a vacuum without a physical barrier. What it says is that the total entropy of an isolated system can never decrease over time. And the only true isolated system we have is the universe. What that means is on a micro scale, entropy can actually work in the opposite direction, like in your fridge freezer where within, the, uh, within the, um, the, the confines of the fridge freezer, entropy kind of goes backwards. But if we take into account the entropy of the entire room that includes your fridge freezer, okay. the heat so increases. Wait, wait, Jam, wait, Jam, Jam, wait. He increases. So wait, Jam, it's my, my point. Let me finish my thought. Jam, let me finish my thought. Let me finish my thought. The total entropy of the entire room that the fridge freezer are in, is in will actually increase because the heat that is needed to cause the fridge freezing operation to happen is expelled into the room. So no, it does not unequivocally say that gas pressure cannot exist next to a vacuum without a physical barrier. It says well, we've that, the that scientifically. But I have demonstrated that ionized gas can exist next to a vacuum without a physical barrier between them. That is easy to demonstrate. That is not a natural system. It doesn't matter if it's a natural system. It does matter. No, science it doesn't. Science is the study of natural science, bro. That, no, 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 no. That, that does not mean you can only use natural things in the world to do science, Jay. That is literally not what science is, okay? in nature and call JM, this is, JM, I haven't finished yet, right? But the thing is, when you talk about the second law of thermodynamics, uh, and you make the claim that there's no barrier between the atmosphere and space, you're actually wrong because there is a barrier. There is a barrier, JM. And that barrier is the energy that is needed to escape the pull of gravity. That is literally so a doesn't... barrier to you leaving so Earth. And that barrier. is what keeps the atmosphere break. on Earth. Right? Oh my God. Um, and then you said about laser tests and... You guys claim refraction index. Well, unless you can calculate that shit. Well, we can calculate that shit. And that's why when we actually do survey and measurements. Well, to, to be able to calculate, JM, we need data. Then the data we need to be able to calculate that is temperature data points. Because I, refraction is dependent on a gradient of temperature and the light going through it. So, yes, we absolutely you... can calculate these things. We absolutely 100% can calculate these things. But we need the data to be able to calculate it. And whenever we do observations, like in all the surveying things that I was pointing out that have been done throughout time that all measure the radius of Earth to be the same, they all actually were able to calculate the refractive index because they took the data points that were required to do that. So if you do a laser test, you need to take the data points and then I will calculate the refractive index for you. Um, so when you say, unless you can calculate that shit, yes, we absolutely can. But to calculate, you need to give us the correct data. So to, uh, to just run back quickly, um, yes, there's pictures of Earth. Uh, gravity can be demonstrated in a lab. Spin of the Earth, you, you were wrong about the voice being left behind because it already has momentum. Um, Coriolis isn't what you guys say it is. It's the conservation of momentum. A motor would make a difference. It means extra forces. Second law of thermodynamics does not mean that gas pressure cannot exist next to a vacuum without a physical barrier. We do have a barrier, energy required to escape gravity, laser tests and everything. Any of the tests you do require knowing the refractive index to be able to calculate exactly what you're seeing. And so, all right, you're done. Yeah. You're you're done. done. Gravity you're done. is now hold a on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not trying to be rude, but we're moving on to the next part. People in the chat have asked me to be nicer to you because they don't want you to leave, and I don't want you to leave either. And I didn't, I'm sorry if I hurt anybody's feelings out there or in here, including yours, Craig. Uh, but we're moving on to the again. next portion. Thank you. Um, okay, so we're moving on to the next portion. <coughs> I'll let you start, JM, since you already have an idea on the tip of your head. And I'm sure you'd like to get that out to the masses. Uh, so go ahead. You got 20 minutes between you two. Okay. So, if I'm understanding you, gravity is a container. 
No, no. The energy required to escape gravity is a barrier. Okay. It, it's a barrier to leaving. Where, that's why that's why rockets need big ass boosters. Where is, where with scientific fuel. journal does it say that? Or is that just great bullshit? No, that's what the law of gravity universal gravitational attraction implies. Because you you've quoted both Einstein and Newtonian gravity, which I've already made the point that they are not even the same. They absolutely even, are the same. Uh, if they weren't the same, Jim, you wouldn't be able to derive Newton's laws from Einstein's field equations. Um, Newton went out and blew, or Einstein went out and blew Newton's gravity out of the water. No, he didn't. He just explained why it happened. Yeah. No, he explained why it couldn't happen. No, no, because Newton never had a theory of gravity. Newton literally went, this thing happens, and if I do these calculations based on this thing happen, happening, then, then it makes sense. He, he had an empirical observation of mass attracting mass, and he based a, a law of attraction around the evidence that he gathered. He never had a theory of why it happens, and he actually wanted to distance himself from any theory of gravity, because the calculations that he did would imply that say the Earth's gravity would reach out instantaneously to the moon. And he knew that that really couldn't really happen. So he knew that his calculations were missing something, but they actually work on a local scale. And we live in a Newtonian world and all the calculations that you have to use for engineering are all based around Newtonian physics. But when you work on a larger scale, you need to move away from Newtonian physics because it doesn't explain a lot of the things. And that's what Einstein did. He said, well, no, it doesn't reach out instantaneously. Gravity, for one, is limited by the speed of light. But this is why that attraction appears to be there. And he described it more accurately. It doesn't mean that Newton was wrong. In the same way that, say, in pi is 3.141 isn't wrong. But, say, in pi is 3.14156 is a lot more accurate. It doesn't make the previous one wrong. I, Einstein is just a more accurate way of looking at gravity that tries to give a description to why it happens. Okay? And this, sure. this, this is something you literally learn in, in basic physics. Mm. So, yeah, they absolutely did describe the same thing. And I, Einstein even said that he wouldn't be where he was in his calculations if it wasn't for um, Newton's fundamental basis on all of physics. You know, Einstein was very appreciative of the work that Newton did. He couldn't have done what he did without I've, Newton doing the stuff before. I, 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 I've revealed other studies that show that's not the case. I'm not going to argue this again. I'm just not. Okay, I mean, I'm, I, I'm, 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 no I'm, just, I'm just telling you that, you know, this is what Einstein himself said. But, you, um, well, from my perspective, Craig, you double-talked everything. Every, like, well, I, I am No, your understanding like, isn't me double-talking. Okay, Craig. Let me finish, please. I'm boggled. My mind is boggled. You've double talked every specific notion you've put forward. In what way? And you don't even realize. Please tell me like, which bit I've double talked on. You fucking um, um, spin of the earth, Coriolis. You said if there is one, there isn't one. No, Gravity. I there is a barrier. There isn't a barrier. No, no. Okay. Said, let's 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 stick with Coriolis. Um, when did I say there is one and there isn't one? Well, you're saying you said that the atmosphere spins with the Earth. Yeah, of course it does. Which would mean there is no Coriolis. No, it doesn't. That's not what yes. Coriolis is. Bro. Okay. Coriolis right. has nothing to do with the atmosphere. Coriolis is conservation of momentum. Yeah. You know what? I explained you that argued to you. it worked for the atmosphere for months, bro. No, I didn't. For months. No, oh I, I did right. not. I, the, the atmosphere is not Coriolis. Atmosphere moves with Earth. I've always said that. But um, Coriolis can cause some things within the atmosphere to happen. It's why hurricanes and stuff form. But the Earth... The atmosphere moving with the Earth is not disproving Coriolis because that's not what Coriolis is. Coriolis is the conservation of momentum. It's even referred to in several physics texts as the law of conservation of angular momentum. That's I understand what, that's what it's referred to as. My point is there's no such thing. Well, there absolutely is. Uh, there absolutely isn't. Well, they explained the, uh, the, the, the British attacking the Falklands and getting it the wrong way then because the Coriolis calculations were backwards. A cannonball is going straight up and falling right back into the barrel. That's not what Coriolis should be. Coriolis doesn't say that it you should know, deviate. 
that Coriolis doesn't say that because the when you fire something straight up, it maintains okay, so, the momentum. Wait, Jay, let me finish. So you, Jay, 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 let, let me finish my point, right? If you fire something straight up, right, the thing that you have fired straight up has the same momentum as the cannon that it was fired in. So if there's no other external forces, as that is rotating with the Earth, the point that is fired, it's also have that rotation, that angular momentum with it, and it would form a parabola from an outside reference point. From your point of view, it would go up and go straight back down. And to, on to your next point about Neil deGrasse Tyson, no, he did not say the Earth rotated underneath anything. That is a misquotation. And the fucking Earth rotation is what he said. He calculated that yeah. shit, and the ball hitting the, the, the bar and bouncing in was caused from Coriolis. That's yeah. what he said. What he said Coriolis. was what what he said was the the field kick um, the, and the win was likely assisted by a one eighth of an inch deflection to the right imparted by the Earth's rotation. Coriolis in effect. And he is correct because when he did the calculation, he saw that the stadium was going from um, directly from south to east, uh, south to uh, north to south, sorry, right? And that was the direction of the kick. So based on the velocity of the ball, the distance that the kick had, you could tell what angular momentum was conserved between one point and the other. And that means that the ball would have a drift to one way or the other, depending on which way it was kicked. So he was absolutely right when he said that the, um, the winning kick was assisted by the rotation of the Earth because it imparted that drift into it because of conservation of momentum. He did not say that the Earth rotated underneath the field goal. Okay. All right. Right. So the, the whole thing about your, the whole flat Earth argument about, well, if there's Coriolis, the atmosphere can't spin with the Earth is wrong because that's not what Coriolis is. And this is one thing according I want everyone to, to understand. No, not according to me, according to physics, according to what the Coriolis is. It is the conservation of momentum. That, that's literally what it is. I will find just as many physics <clears throat> professors to argue with you. Find me one. Okay. Okay. No physics professor, professor will disagree with what I am saying the Coriolis is. Oh, not by definition, no. And what it actually by is. Absolutely. They don't agree that there is a Coriolis. No, they won't. Sure there are. There are Jim, professors on both sides. Every, yes, right? every artillery manual, if it's over a kilometer, talks about correcting for the Coriolis. For the spin of the Earth, Craig, if it's under, and down a, the road, if it's under a kilometer, you don't really need to take it into that, account, which is why it's not in sniper manuals. The calculations do not account for the rotation of the Earth. They don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. So they're just they putting account, random shit in the manuals, are they? They account for the spin of the round. Of the what? Period. No, they don't. The spin and travel of the round. No, they don't. They account for the rotation of the Earth, Jam. Yeah. The calculations are in the manuals. Hey, believe what you will. No, I've I, read I, the I, original I, manual versus the manuals now. Please give me same. a citation that says that. Please I will show send me. It to you after. No, no. Come, I will come on, Jam. Back up one of your claims, please. Craig, Craig, I'm not. I'm just. I'm not doing this, dude. I'm just I, not. Why? I'm I'm just, all I'm asking well, you to no, do I, is provide evidence. That's what this is about. I know. Evidence is king. I've got evidence. You I don't. understand it. What you're calling evidence isn't evidence, Craig. No, it is. You're calling bullshit evidence. No, you are. Tell me one bit of bullshit that I've, that's been evidence. That it's one bit of evidence that's been bullshit. One bit. Actual your measurements. your explanation of your explanation your explanation of refraction off my thirty six point five. Yeah. So I, I actually I actually have the numbers for your observation. Um, Tommy did them for me. Let me get that up one sec. Um, do, 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 do. give me, oh, here we go. Right, so you said no one's done the calculations for your observations. Um, Tommy did, actually. Um, how did he do that without data points? Well, based, no, uh, the calculations that he did were based on standard refraction over the distance that you were talking about. So let me just bring up. Standard refraction changes quite a bit over temperature. No, standard. Now I'm going to use your argument. Against you. st standard refraction. J 
JM, there's a stand. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so um, for I think this was the the 30 mile observation. This one, uh, yeah, this is the 30 mile over water. So based on the distance and standard refraction, uh, I mean, light would only have to bend by 0 0.162 degrees, right? Standard refraction can make light bend as much as one degree. So there is no reason why on our model when with refraction taken into account that we could not have light bending that amount. It's less than one degree. It, that, that's no issue at all. You have to deny that refraction is a thing to say that your observation exclusively supports a flat Earth. What you have to understand is on our model with refraction, it's perfectly explainable. Um, so that's all there is to say about that, really. It's perfectly explained. I've got two other arguments, but I'm not even going to bring them up. It's just not even worth it to me. Come on, Jam. This uh, is, the, but all right, okay, right. Let's let's go to one other thing you said. The um, a gyroscope only measures in one axis. Well, Bob Nadell said exactly no, 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 the opposite. That is, not, that is not what I said, Craig. Whoa! What did, what did you say? What, what did you say then? I said, I said the laser gyro experiment that Bob's talking about only measured. Uh, rotation on one axis. No, the didn't. laser gyro measured on three axes, but it only took in data for one axis point. No, it didn't. Meaning, Bob was showing the operation of the the device, and Craig, he, uh, I've, what, I've sat, I've sat for over two hours and interviewed Bob, and unless Bob lied to me in my interview, I imagine he did. Yeah, he lies a lot. Well, but his his words are that um, this when he in this very video that I've got here I can play it if you need me to but he's talking to Nathan Thompson um, Nathan stay away from the kids I've seen that video. Uh, and he he talks about as soon as this is turned on it automatically it instantly picks up the drift in three axes right and that's what happens it picks up the drift in three axes every single interferometric gyroscope on the planet picks up a drift in three axes but not just that JM did you know interesting tidbit these gyroscopes also pick up a one degree one degree drift a day on a vertical plane that is the drift of the earth around the sun did you know that i did but that's not at all what that is what is it then because it can't pick up anything from the sky there's no way it can see the sky it's not how they work that one degree, that one degree only changes based on height no, from no, the ground. no, 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 no. It's a constant yeah. one degree drift Craig, a day. Craig, I've talked to Bob. I've interviewed Bob. We've all Out seen of the Bob's two words. Of us, I'm the only one that actually has any data, any information from him that's any that's at all credible. Oh, I'm not talking about just Bob here. I'm talking about every single interferometric gyroscope in the world. It will pick up at one degree drift a day. You have not measured every... Oh, my God. All right. But the, the, the mere function of them, that's how they work, JM, right? But what is the flat Earth explanation for the drift that it picks up? Why, if the Earth is flat and motionless, why does it pick up a 15 degree drift in three axes? Explain it. It's not a three, it's not a three axis. Craig. It absolutely is. It is not on three axis. It absolutely is. Okay, I'm telling you, I've got the fucking video and the interview where he Play explains it. it. It's one fucking access, Greg. No. One. No. Not three. One. Then his laser gyroscope wasn't working correctly because they automatically pick up a drift in three axes, as he states in this video. So unless, for one second, it stopped picking up the drift in three axes and only picked it up in one axis on that one time, you're talking absolute nonsense. Because Bob himself, I've got the words on this video. Let me play it if you want. Do you want me to? Go ahead, play it. Because they're saying, well, you know, that 15 degree per hour rotation. Right, right, right. That's axis. And that's why it's showing movement. Now, what everybody is most interested in is they're saying, well, you know, that 15 degree per hour rotation is picking up the roll. But, but the interesting thing about what's going on here is you have movement on both the, on all the roll right. uh, pitch sorry, and yaw the audio axes Let's go back a little here. Bit is most interested in is they're saying well we you know that 15 degree per hour rotation is picking up the roll but but the interesting thing about what's going on here is you have movement on both 
the, on all the roll, pitch, and yaw axes, and it's essentially doing this. Bob, 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 you, you just made the movement of, of something on a sphere. Oh God, I was thinner then. But yeah, no. So as Bob says there, the it picks up the yaw, pitch, and roll. Right, that's what his that that his gyroscope. That's what it picks up. It picks up a yaw, a pitch, and a roll. That is three axes. So no. It's the y axis and z axis, but my question three axes. is that, but that it, it picks that up. But he's not saying that that's what it captured during that exi that t test. Yes, he is. That's what he's saying. It picks up. That I've literally just showed you it. I think you took it out of context, but I will. No, I haven't taken it out I'll of context. He, he right, says right, that his, his gyroscope picks have... up a drift in three axes. Hold that's on, what hold it on, does. Craig, you're gonna love. It. Hold on, hold on. The gyroscope does pick it up on three axes. I of get course. that, okay. But my question is, on a stationary on a stationary surface, is it picking it up on three axes? Yes. If it is, hold on. Let me finish, please. Then the gyroscope obviously would be picking up a spin of the Earth. Okay, that that's I'm not going to argue that. Okay, and but it does. The problem, hold on, hold on. Here's the problem I have. I've interviewed him, and that's not what he said to me in the interview. If not, this is true, I would I would take that video, put it against my interview, and be like, Bob, you're a fucking liar. All right, well, let me play you a little bit more of that video a sec. No, 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 not really. No, let's have a look at him playing with his toy. So this on the moon. So yeah, that's delay. <laughs> so this thing actually um, is mounted. So what what he's holding in his hand is the gyroscope, JM, right? That is the gyroscope that he used. I, 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 I held it. To the frame of the aircraft, okay? So when you mount it on the aircraft and say my front of my hand is the is the front of the plane. Front of the plane, all right. And you can see this thing right here, which what it is um, is is an atti attitude or an artificial horizon, that's what it's called. And Bob is right, they do use them on planes for the artificial horizon because they are extremely accurate. Like really, really accurate. Okay. Really and down, down here you have the very, very fine roll, pitch, and yaw. And you can mm -hmm. see they're all moving, right? It's just sitting here, but they're all moving. <sighs> yep, they're all moving as a gyroscope. There you go. He said, it's just sitting there and they're all moving. That was his words there. It's not taken out of context. He, he literally said he zeroed it out. And it's just sitting there, and it instantly picks up that drift in three axes. That's what he just said. Go back and play it again. Play it again. Play it again. Um, there. We use them no, on planes for the artificial horizon because they are extremely right, accurate. Like, really, really accurate. Okay, and down here you have the very, very fine roll, pitch, and yaw. And you can see they're all moving. Right? It's just sitting here, but they're all moving. Yep, they're all moving as a gyro... See, it's just sitting there on that desk, which is stationary, right? And if the heliocentric model is correct, that desk is in his house, which is attached to the floor, or uh, you know, the foundations of where it is built, which is on the earth, which is rotating, wow. which means that desk is rotating, wow. right? So his words were that just sitting there is picking up the roll, pitch, and yaw. That's three axes. Axes. I'm not really sure how to say that, the, the plural of axis. Someone correct me in the chat if I'm wrong. I just say axes. 1,040 people axes. watching. Fucking absolutely amazing. Smash that like button. Love you all. Okay, so, so I will say that's, that brings up another host of questions, that video. But one, it's not a naturally occurring phenomenon. I will, cite, I will absolutely... I uh, agree with Nathan Thompson on that. Can you but, please show me a citation that says I'm only allowed to use naturally occurring observations in science? Yes, that's the fucking definition of science. Can you show me a citation the that says that, please? Science, Craig, is the you have to observe something in nature. No, no. God, can, you you show, can you show me a citation that says that? Go look at the definition of fucking science, Craig. Uh, I've done it many times. I'm asking if you can show me a citation to back up what you've just said. It's the definition of science, Craig. The definition of science is a natural observation. Is that what you're saying? Yes. A scientific method. You observe something in nature, and then you, then you try to explain it. 
by testing it in, in, through science. That's mm -hmm. science is the observation of natural phenomena. Mm, can you show me a citation that says that, please? Um, I mean, let's just ask, what is science, and see what that says, because I've never seen a, a citation that says science is just observing natural phenomenon. Uh, the in science, the intellectual and practical activity encompassing the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and Thank experiment. You. Physical and natural Thank world. You. That doesn't mean just in that you can only use natural observations. That just means it's the natural world around us. You can't naturally observe yeah, bacteria. Our, you have Craig, to use tools and stuff to do our, that. Craig, but that's are still buildings science. natural? Sorry? Craig, are buildings natural? Are airplanes natural? Are no. rockets Irrelevant. natural? They're physical. No. They're physical. Okay, but they're talk you're taking something way out of context. No, I think they're you are. They're taking physical and the natural world. Yeah, anything that's physical. This so is physical. This, this, I'm, I'm holding some physical in my hand right now. Here's my physical phone that was made with physical science. It's technology science. It's not natural science, bro. Same difference. Science, dude. Science. No, it is not. Oh, my God. I can't even believe you have a background in fucking physics. Oh, no, 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 Jay. You are right now showing your ignorance about what even science is. Technological science. You don't even you, know what the second law of thermodynamics is, yet you try to claim it all the time. I, Craig, I've already explained at nauseum what the second law of thermodynamics is. No, you haven't at all. Yes, I just didn't because today. The second law of thermodynamics nauseum, does not say Craig, I that gravity would... class on thermodynamics. Bollocks, do you? Oh, my God. All right, well, I guess I'm done. Oh, J.M., uh, we haven't right, even well, started. Hold on. That's on. the end of the round. Hold on. That's the end of that round. That's the end of that round. Uh, and and did, when you ended off there, J.M., just out of curiosity, you did say that you taught th uh, thermal dynamics. Is that correct? I, I taught a class the on The last thing you right? said. Right. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. You taught a class on what? Thermal you taught a dynamic? class on what? Okay. The second law of thermal dynamics. I wanted to make sure that I. Well, okay. Let me let me hold on, hold on, hold on, because you're gonna blow this up. Let me let me clarify. I taught a class referencing the second law of thermal dynamics, where I read the law, based on its definition. Okay. Can I just ask what the units of measurement are? You can ask. What are the units of measurement? What is entropy measured in? No, no, I said you could ask. I didn't say I would answer you. Do you know? Maybe. Could you tell us? Nope. Why not? Because now I'm being a dick. Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to be. Uh, I just I'm want... trying to, I'm, trying to, I, I'm, I'm just so, wondering if you can. I'm so, beyond, I'm so past being talked down to, being told I don't understand anything. You're right. I'm an idiot. I don't understand nothing JM, as far as I'm you're not talking down to you. Right? right. The thing is, when you look at you and me, right? Craig, I, you don't realize it, but you and team talk down to everybody. Every no. flat earther that's ever been on here, you've talked down <laughs> to you to me. Oh, it's kind of impossible you not to, to when you have to explain basic physics to people. Oh. Like, the, I love it. <laughs> the, the thing is, JM, you're objectively wrong. And just because you deny it, or doesn't change the fact. Illiterate. No, I'm not, because between the two of us, I've actually studied physics. You have not. So, uh, I, have a, Craig, I have a degree in physics. You I do not. You haven't. Craig, I... Okay, how do you know I have or haven't? What's your qualifications in physics? No, no, no. You just said I haven't studied physics. How do you know I have or haven't? Because you don't Give know what entropy is measured in. Showing that I have or haven't studied physics. If you've studied physics, tell me what entropy is measured in. No, no, no. It. You said you could prove I haven't studied physics. If you Please. studied physics, then you'll know what entropy is measured in. I didn't say I could prove I it. it. I just I said you haven't entropy. studied physics. It's objectively true. I know what entropy is measured in. What? I'm refusing to, no, I'm no. refusing to tell you now on purpose. Because you've because multiple you times accused me of... Sure. Let me finish. No, you've accused me multiple times of things that aren't true. 
and are not real. So now I'm not playing this fucking child game with you. Hey, Tim. You said you can prove that I haven't studied physics. Please prove when I've done a goddamn fucking survey and proven I've at least studied how to you, measure distance. You've done a Please survey. Please explain to me how I've never fucking studied physics. Please. What qualifications That's do you have in physics? Okay, well... Not- Physics. Well, uh, Jay, and the thing is, any earlier in this debate can be dismissed without evidence. So, can you? What, yeah, what earlier in this, this earlier physics? in this debate, you. Yeah, earlier in this debate, JM, you asked what the purpose of knowing the refraction was, and then called it fraction. No, I called it refraction. Like it, it, someone. No, you you called it fraction at one time. Yes, I'm correct. I I laughed about it inside mm-hmm. a little bit. And the other, t- the other thing that followed with that was how you said something about, like, what's even the purpose of fraction? You know, and I was like, <laughs> he, didn't know, he didn't even know what he's talking about, and he mispronounced hey guys, it. That's I, crazy. Said, it's funny hey, as fuck, but I, I didn't interrupt you. If I tripped over my tongue, that doesn't mean I don't know what the word is, you fucking moron. If I said fraction, it was no, probably I'm my not... dyslexia. I said it wrong. So what? It's refraction. Yeah, yeah, well, that was my internal laughing. That was my internal laughing. Was my internal laughing. I was asking you... Control- no, 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 no. Is- <laughs> He's just having a laugh. Jam, no, I chill. said that's how I know. I said that's how I know you said it because you said two of those things at the same time and I was having an internal chuckle about it. But that demonstrates you've never studied physics to, to have to ask the question, why is refraction important when taking measurements of light? That's why we can tell you, yeah, we don't have any confidence in the statement that you say, I've studied physics. To us, we're like, no, you haven't. You don't even know what the second law of thermodynamics are, and yet you tell us you're teaching it, and you can't even give us the units of of measurement. I can. I'm just not going to. That's demonstrations of not being. All right, okay. Yeah, sure. All right. Me too. Um, How how about we... we... Hey, I've got pretty much a choice, team. Okay, how about we move on to some questions and answers? Um, And... um, I know that you don't want to speak to Reds. We're probably not going to bring him on unless you'd be willing to speak to Reds, but he had, he does have some specific questions for you. I, I, I'm not willing to speak to Reds. Right. Would you mind if I ask the questions that he's asked? You can ask. Right. Okay. Um, this could be interesting, guys. Uh, right. So, um, Reds, if you're in the, in the chat, let me know if I get these right. I'm going to just bring this up now. Um, and then I'm going to try, if there's other questions in the chat with, uh, as well for you, we'll get to them. Right, so... As you bring that up, I just want to remind you that you also said that mass and weight are the same thing. That demonstrates that you have no idea what physics are, nor have you ever studied anything in physics. It's a good point. But They're not even we... measured in the same unit. Or, or they taught you bullshit. So, um, you said a few weeks ago... Uh, when talking to to Red, so there was a twenty second discrepancy between Red's footage and SpaceX live stream of the same launch. Oh, and I'm not even discussing this. Well, Red has demonstrated that 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 was false. So you're, you're willing wrong. to admit you were wrong? Good, good, good for Red. Are you willing to admit that you were wrong? No. Why not? Because I know what I mm-hmm. measured. After I measured it. Videos can be changed. Letters, so that's why. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah that that's a good answer, team. That's awesome. Um, I mean, I've I've you know you could be wrong, Jam. He he's demonstrated how wrong you are, and you're wrong. And now that we've demonstrated how wrong you are, you could just say, yeah, he was right. I got that one wrong, and you would have saved a lot of face instead of taking the chicken shit route and saying, no, there's no possible way that I could ever fucking be wrong because I'm goddamn the master physicist, modified sniper, modified fucking field artillery guy, and how could I ever be wrong? with so many goddamn degrees yeah you're fucking wrong and none of that shit matters I mean, i'm wrong because you said so team well i'm playing right now a video no that you're has, wrong um, because videos. you're wrong yeah, i have i'm playing videos right now that contains spacex footage red rhetoric footage and astronomy lives footage playing directly alongside each other anyone can get the raw files and do this themselves reds and astronomy live are happy to present you with the raw files um and it shows that there is absolutely no 20 second discrepancy um anymore JM, Correct. I mean, there's no evidence that there ever was a 20 second discrepancy. And can, can I just ask you directly, did you figure out yourself that there was a 20 second discrepancy? I don't remember if I did or if, uh, if somebody pointed it out and I measured it. I don't, I don't recall that. I just know I tested it. 
that's your fucking problem. Other flat earthers are pointing shit out to you, and you go, yeah, that sounds yeah. right. Sounds fucking smart. Yeah. Hey, so do your own fucking hey, research. If, if, if anyone, smart guy, if anyone hey, smart wants guy, to... that's not how, that's not, hold on, Craig. That's not how I operate. I don't fucking take people's word for shit. I test everything that I do. So right. whether you believe it or not, I don't give a he fuck. He just asked but, you how you on. He just asked you how you came to that fucking conclusion, and you said, and I, I don't know if I came to the conclusion or someone pointing it out to me. No, you're fucking no. wrong. Admit you're wrong Gee, and be you're a fucking not, big man listen, about listen, it. Stop being a little like, whiny oh, crybaby. Anyone who it's wants to see the evidence listen. in the chat. What I said was, I don't know if somebody pointed it out or whether I found it, but I measured it, and it was 20, um, 20 seconds off. What did, what, you, what did you Get measure? That. What did you as measure? A, as as a perennial loser, you'd be used to saying, "I know I'm wrong by now." Okay. I I have like, admitted when I was wrong, like, when then proven to be wrong. Okay, Jam, can I just ask, when did you measure it? We proved you're wrong. Do you mind? Do, uh, you know, I'm just asking, when when did you actually measure it? When I measured it. Which. Yeah, what did you use to measure it? Like, what, what, what videos? It was quite a while ago. I don't know, Craig. Move okay. on. All right, okay. This doesn't um, prove it. You said that Red's footage was bullshit because of the black paint hey, on the I, booster. Yeah, I'm come up with something other than Red's footage. I'm done talking about Red. Uh, he's got a few Red questions. Can't... At least, it's only, it's only three I'm questions. Talking about Red. Okay. okay. All right, well, I need to do this one thing then, right? All the things that you said about Reds is footage. The the twenty second discrepancy, the different places that they landed, um, the black paint, uh, the sky being different colors. <coughs> this was all fed to you by someone who you know is no, random. No, it wasn't actually. It was not fed to me by anyone, Craig. Um, so you know the guy is Brandon. Um, we all know him as Negative Exponents. Um, JM, he <laughs> is at the moment. Yeah. Clipping the, he recorded the conversations with you, um, where he was talking it through. And there was actually, you were um, in the call with him and you hadn't even downloaded the footage that was sent you, right? And he lit, you lit, downloaded it and he literally said to you, oh, look, they, they, they landed off, they took off and landed at different places. And you were like, oh yeah, how did I never spot that? And then he told you that the sky was a different color. Then he told you there's a 20 second discrepancy. Then he told you about the black paint. Everything you brought up against Reds in that debate was fed to you by negative exponents. I have the audio files to prove that. I've listened to them and, and he's getting them for me now. I've already listened to them. Why did you lie to me and say that you did it yourself? Because Brandon, because Brandon didn't, Brandon, yes, Brandon fed them to me. But I found them a lot, lot before Brandon ever even fucking not fed what them you to said me. In, not I, what you oh, said in the calls to Brandon. Not what you said in the calls. Yes, no, it's it is, not actually. I, no, I, I've listened to it. Are you, do you want to double down, Jane? Because I've got the evidence that you're lying. Evidence can be fucking manipulated, Craig. Oh, that it's fake. The flat earther is fucking mating call. <laughs> I is, have, that, is that how it's going to be? Is I have. That how I have actual evidence, Dan, that you have straight up you lied pissy? to me. Are you pissy because I've shut down? Really? No, I'm pissed. I'm not pissy at all. I'm pointing out that you are a liar. You have lied to people about a lot of things. You are... I, Craig, you, everything I, you, I don't know if it's you, ego or what, right? But you can't help but what lie. I'm lying about. You what? sitting here calling me a liar does not make me a liar. No, the evidence so, that I can present does. Exactly. Well, no, because yep. if you think Evidence I don't know who Brandon is, you don't, you don't, you don't know, know who Brandon is. You had no fucking idea. Don't you now claim that you knew Brandon was fucking never to get exponents all along? Because you had fucking no idea. I've listened to those conversations, you lying fucking cunt. <laughs> busted, JM. Fucking busted. You are a liar. You're you're a, you're a moron, Craig. No, no, I am fucking calling you out. You don't know the first thing about physics. I have absolutely destroyed everything you said. I've got measurements you don't. You don't even know what refraction is or how to calculate centrifugal force. You fucking said in this debate that there's no way to calculate right. centrifugal force. Right. You actually said right. those words, JM. I you said, said that there's no way to calculate centrifugal force. That is not what I said. Yes, it fucking you guys is. Don't listen. I wrote oh it down. God. You guys do not fucking listen. Someone please go back you and clip that because he said word. that. You twist shit. You guys are the most right. fucking... How do you calculate centrifugal uh, force? 
You guys have a great night. It was How'd a pleasure. How'd you calculate centrifugal force? I've had my last words and my last say. You've had your fun. Are you going to run away, yeah, JM, before we get to finish? There's so many questions. JM, right don't now. run. JM, JM, don't I, run. Don't I, run. He's I, asking you a I, basic I, question. How do you calculate the acceleration of an object going around in a circle? How do you calculate the acceleration of an object I, I, moving around I, I, a circle? There's I a simple a, equation. I to a, do it my time. No, you don't. Come on, JM, please. Just guess. Just guess at the Over. answer. Please, just guess. For the last, for the lulls, just give us a guess. How do you calculate the acceleration of an object going around a circle? No, I think that's his I've disconnected face. Oh, uh, that's his I've disconnected face? Oh, poor guy. What a fucking loser. Rage, cool what a fucking a, a legitimate, a loser that has legs and can functionally <gasps> oh. walk around. You are a... Oh, man, the words that I want to say right now... Oh, Man, um, <laughs> negative exponents is actually busy He's so fucking... the audio files for me. And I'm, I'm not kidding, guys, right? When he debated Reds, in fact, I want to um, send Reds an invite to come on. Because um, I, didn't, I didn't get to ask all his questions because he started crying. Because Reds had more. But let's get Reds on uh, and have a little talk about what's just happened. Because um, some of... I mean, this is going to make for some good fucking uh, videos, team. The amount of stupid that he said... Oh my god. Right, Reds. There's the link. Please come on. So, team, did you enjoy that? Um, yeah, it's kind of boring. Um, he's <laughs> not saying anything new. He keeps still oh, saying no, of the course same not. thing over he's and never over, and say over, and new. over and over and over again. Uh, I, I'm looking yeah. forward to watching this back for the um, uh, for the chat because wow can I just say there's fucking 1100 people watching you guys are fucking amazing and I hope you've enjoyed me calling out a fucking idiot for what he is because I've wooed I've had to woo JM to get him to agree to do this I've been nice to him and everything because I wanted him to come on because if, it, if that was his final say in Flat Earth that was as embarrassing as I wanted it to be Red's fucking rhetoric how you doing Holy fuck. Well, I have a uh, after show on my channel waiting to go live, just so you all know. So uh, <laughs> after this uh, shit show is done, we're going to go over there and uh, talk about this a little bit, because I got some shit to say about what the fuck just happened here. Uh, I didn't even um, get to go through all your questions. Fuck that guy. Yeah, because he's a little bitch. He's a little bitch. That's why. That's why you didn't get, you didn't get to all my questions, because he is a little bitch. Man. Wow. And, and hey, I, I didn't want to... Listen, listen, listen. I am so pissed off at five because you said thermodynamics and he caught himself because if you guys go back and listen to the beginning, I was waiting for this whole time to say... That's why I asked him, I said, you said it's the second law of what? Of what? And you were like, thermodynamics. He's like, oh, thermodynamics. And I was trying to get him to say it. He'd been saying it the whole time. Thermal dynamics. Thermal like, dynamics. I'm taught thermal I didn't dynamics. even realize that. No way. And I'm like, he said it. No, listen. He said oh. it like 10 times in his opening fucking thing. Oh, my he, God. He was like, it violates the second law of thermal dynamics. Right. And I was like, oh, any, my. Any Hold fucking on, I think I can actually go back and find have, it. I've got a permission to use any of what JM said there. Um, seriously, uh, free reign on the video. <laughs> But I just I just want to hey, point give me to one second. I'm the, gonna the find only it. the only fucking answer that he actually gave, which was um, I will go ahead and admit I'm wrong when I'm shown to be wrong. Motherfucker, I made a video where I had Astronomy Live's footage, my footage, and SpaceX's footage running at the same fucking time and showed that there was no discrepancy between any of the clips. So where's this twenty second discrepancy, JM? He said if you, you say you that you it admit, afterwards, dude, you changed it afterwards. Oh, because I have uh, why? Do I have a time machine that's made of solid gold? <laughs> yeah, apparently so. You can go back. I mean, and my change fucking videos god, that you already uploaded. Apparently, I can change videos that were already uploaded. This is the level of flat earth <laughs> oh stupidity, god. ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters. It doesn't. I had bad. my footage. Astronomy Live's footage and SpaceX footage playing on the same video at the exact same time. There was no discrepancy. I demonstrated that JM was full of shit there. 
What he said was that, I will admit I'm wrong when I'm shown to be wrong. I've shown you to be wrong. Admit that you were wrong, fuckface. No, he's never going to. <laughs> of course not. Of course not. Oh, you know, I... intellectual honesty. What the fuck is that to a flurf? Yeah, um, I'm going to um, that quickly download all the, the memes that you guys have sent me for JM and let them play whilst I read out Super Chats. Uh, so let me just yeah. get this folded, this uh, new folder sorted. Where did that go? My God. No, um, I knew that JM would not talk to me after this because I, I wanted it to be embarrassing for him. And it's been fucking embarrassing for him, right? I have to give a huge shout out to Negative Exponents for making yeah. what has got to be the best troll ever. Absolutely. That was fucking That amazing. was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. And you know what? You, you know what? I'm actually I'm actually smiling right now. I haven't been able to smile for a while because I've been wiping my ass with my hands for the last two and a half weeks. But this, this just put a smile on my face. Seeing him get fucking murked this hard. This was yeah. great. Oh, I'm, JM I'm is going to be you know, the meme of a fucking lifetime. Yeah. What you say? Oh, yeah. Hey, I said it earlier. I, as soon as when he goes, oh, Nathan's my best friend, and he's pretty much the honest, most honest person I know. I was like, that comment right there just earned you a nomination for Dumb Fuck of the Year 2020. You are in, it's inescapable, JM. <laughs> you are now the Anthony Riley. Until you win a fucking award, you will be a perpetual fucking nominee. Yeah. Please don't get off the I, internet. I, I, I... I, I have to I have to wonder why he looks up to this elementary school harasser. Like, why? What, dude, what the fuck do you see in this guy? <laughs> I mean, Nathan Thompson of all people? Dude. I know. And I thought my douche. standards were fucking low. I mean, and your standards are low. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I but they're say, not yeah, underground. Exactly. They're not underground, though. Nathan Thompson is known for harassing elementary school kids. <laughs> None of my friends do that. Holy fuck. Uh, <laughs> oh my this god, there's so be. many JM memes. If you this ask is Nathan, but listen, hold on. Listen, if you're if you ask Natalie, he's not harassing harassing children. He's courting them. What are you talking oh. about? Oh, oh, oh god, no. Please. That, please. That's painful. Yeah, stick to your own age wait, wait, group, uh, fucking Nathan, you fucking predator. Oh god, it was super creepy. That was super fucking creepy. And here's a here's another thing is that uh, he just didn't want to tell me at all. Did I scare him that badly? Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. No, he he would not talk to you ever. Okay. Okay. JM, this is a model in my hands of the International Space Station. Can you please use this model and show me where Rex Rhetoric touched you? <laughs> <laughs> Was it was it on the cupola? Was it on the cupola? It was a that, cupola, wasn't it? <laughs> you have no idea how many fucking JM memes there is in my meme room on Discord. <laughs> this is he ridiculous. Mister Mister Twenty Second Discrepancy himself. Yeah. Oh my right. God! It's like Mister Twenty Second Discrepancy himself. Ah, uh, uh, Mister. You, you can can't imagine how bad it else. must suck to be him. Oh man, no! Lit the bad it must suck to now, be him. Definitely, he is a he got called out. Nathan Thompson. It's like, oh, you can't pan nine miles. You can't pan nine oh, miles. Fuck me, I'm a, I'm a videographer. I know what it means to pan nine miles. Fucking idiot! Right here we go. Let me get the Dang. JM memes up, um, because they're fucking awesome. <laughs> I need to slow that down. Slideshow settings. Yeah, seriously. Uh, Give us a chance to enjoy the memeage. Right, there we go. Restart. Right, and I'm going to keep downloading more because there's, that's not finished. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, oh my God, so fucking good. Yeah, I love the community. <laughs> Honestly, I've, uh, this has taken ages because there's so many to put down. Tel Aviv weatherman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one I liked. Uh, they so offer. Can't use a camera. 
Type 2 diabetic can cure any disease. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, my God. Honestly, guys, you've sent me so many. This is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I want to see. Uh, hang on, guys. Let me just uh, polish my Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You're I saying this thing is after effects? Oh, no. <laughs> so, oh, wait a minute. You're saying this shit's after effects? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you're fucking this up. No, absolutely. Hold my Emmy. Hold my fucking Emmy. Hold my Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Some of, them, I, I'm, some of them I can't put in because they're really mean. <laughs> um... <laughs> Modified oh, sniper. Man. I like that one. Uh, saving the jazz. Oh, not uh, hey, are you uh? Di there was somebody that shared Bombard ninety nine shared um the the Marine sniper or not, not the Marine field artillery uh, manual, and I I went and actually looked it up, and yes, it references Coriolis. He also showed me or someone else, uh, Charlie, I believe it was, showed me a. Or reference me. Give me one second to find it. A tracking point um, site for a weapon, and guess what? It takes into account Coriolis. Oh, it's hmm. almost like it exists. Wonder why. Uh huh. Wonder why. Wonder wh how, Wonder why they would sell a site, a military site, that would have a setting, would have, uh, would take into account Coriolis, but for whatever reason, there's no Coriolis. So whenever you use it, it's going to immediately tell you you're off. Immediately. Yeah. Well, uh, so I got a question for you, Fight. Go on, then. Um, for the people in the live chat, can we please just read out the questions that I asked you to ask uh, JM before yes, he certainly. ran away like a little bitch? So well, let's start with that number one. Let's start with the first one again. Uh, right, so number one, um, wh why don't you read them out? Because you're the one that sent them to me. Uh, so be in your voice. Get the red rhetoric. <laughs> oh, okay. Get all right, how rhetoric. about this? I'll do it in my voice mimicking you. Yeah, all right then. <laughs> okay, so so this is the quest these are the questions that JM refused to answer. These are the questions that JM is scared to answer. These are the questions that JM will never answer because he's a little bitch. Number one... Uh, this is if Fight was actually going to ask him and he wasn't going to run away like a little bitch. It would have been like it would have been like this. <clears throat> you said a few weeks ago that there was a 20 second discrepancy between Red's footage and the SpaceX live stream of the same launch. Since Red's has proven that to be total fucking. Bullshit. Are you ready to admit that you were 100% wrong? No, I'm not ready to admit it because uh, I proved that he, uh, and there was this, and I measured it. How did you measure it? But I measured it, guys! No, you I fucking didn't. It. Yeah, no, he fucking didn't. He didn't. And, and, and yeah, he, he said, I can't got remember this if shit. I did it or somebody told me. He got this shit. He got this shit secondhand from negative exponents, and negative yeah. exponents had a goal, and that goal was to feed him the most batshit crazy garbage he could possibly think of, and he fucking bought it. Yeah. Um, and it, me and the negative exponents were talking beforehand, and I, we were trying to come up with like crazy things that we could tell him. You know, I think he could have gone further than he did. Uh, I, I found um, like a, a cheap PNG of the Falcon Heavy um, uh, booster, right? And I sent it to him and I said, try and get JM to believe that you found that online and it's the same thing that Red's used in his After Effects. He would have gone for it. Modified <laughs> 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 <Fight sniper>. sniper. Nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking modified uh, sniper. So the number two, the, the second question that JM was scared to answer was uh, was this <clears throat> you said that red's footage was bullshit because of the black paint on the booster you claimed that since the booster changed color on the way back down that therefore the footage 
was fake. Well, Red's recorded a Falcon 9 booster returning on the drone ship, and you can clearly see that is not paint. It's soot. So, are you ready to admit you were wrong calling soot a paint job? No, of course he's not fucking wrong. And um, yeah, you absolutely did record that um, booster heavy coming back, and I just want to show people because it really fucking puts into perspective how big the thing is. Um, oh yeah, that's that's actually. <laughs> I mean, that. it really, it really puts it into perspective. Uh, and by the way, for JM's benefit, I recorded it in 4K resolution. So Wait, just look at the size there, of these okay. people next to it. Team, did you realize the booster uh, were that, was that fucking big? Yeah, I I mean oh, I knew and, they were big. Hang on, hang, 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 hang on. I Wait, want I, I want you to skip ahead a, a little bit. Where I want you to skip ahead. They're right up uh, uh, a little bit more. Uh, skip ahead. Keep going forward. Not forward. Forward. There you go. Keep going. Keep going more. Keep going more. 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 Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. No, you just there. Yeah. There you go. Now look at that. You can really see the fucking soot patterns on it. That's how, that's a guy staying right next to that booster, by the way. So there you can see the soot patterns. And those uh, uh, arches of white, or that strip of white right there, that's where the landing legs are folded in. And there you can see the soot over the SpaceX logo. So this isn't a paint job. This is something covering the paint job, you dumbass. Uh, and there's the grid fins yeah, let me, that let me take guide the booster back down. Take it back. Uh, I I I I did think it was big, three or four stories tall, but that thing looks like it's like two hundred feet tall. Yeah, it looks fucking. When you right, see pause it right the there. Pause it right 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 there. When, when there is the guy landing, right it, next to the landing legs. Yeah. Like, when when you, yeah. when you see it landing like autonomously, you know it, it really. It, 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 the perspective it fools you totally. It, it doesn't look that big. What it's doing. Looks impossible for something this fucking big. I mean, God damn, that's these like the things size are of fucking, fucking massive skyscraper. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And fucking, yeah. you know what really pisses me off is when and it's Flat landing go, upright. Yeah, it really pisses me off. Yes. When Flat Earthers go, we haven't advanced technology, you know, rocket technology since we went to the moon. Now, what the fuck is this? That is an autonomous drone ship that caught an autonomous rocket booster out at sea so that they could fucking mm. reuse it. What is that, if not advancement? And not only that, it's a dirty, you... dirty booster. Which this video clearly shows. Uh, but with that, I'm going to go on to the third question that JM would be scared to answer. So, uh, JM says, and no more Batman voice. Um, <laughs> so, here's the question. You claim that because the booster did not land in the same spot, that therefore Red's footage was fake. Are you ready to admit that you had zero fucking clue that the landing zone was always different from the launch site? Are you ready to admit you did zero actual research on this before you started talking shit? No, no, he's not. And... Craig, I sent I you wonder, a picture. I can, you, thinks... can you can you can you show that picture up? Can you show that picture up? The yeah. one that I listed under uh, under three, because I really want JM to take a look at this image and maybe learn something. This is right. Uh, so this right here is Google Maps. Boxed in red is the launch site. Boxed in yellow is the landing zone. See how they're two separate locations. But the oh. Reds, the Reds the, you can't pan a camera that far. Oh, of course not, right? I can't pan a fucking camera that far. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. panning a camera 45 degrees? No, yeah. in, in fucking possible. I, I still love how he had the go to literally come out and call you, like, a liar. Oh, well, I couldn't do it before, but now I can. No, you can't. You've listened to someone in no. the community. And got taken for a fucking ride. And when I just called you out on it, you ran away like the little bitch that you are. Probably because Nathan Thompson was talking to you on your phone. He doesn't He doesn't have the balls to actually admit that he was wrong. No. He doesn't have the balls to admit that he was wrong. He doesn't have the balls to <clears throat> face the music and just say, Hey, you know what? I, you guys caught me. You guys caught me. I, JM Truth, lied my fucking ass off. 
You caught me. Well fucking done. Yeah. Um, I thought I could I could use this exposure to sell my bullshit documentary, but you guys caught me fair and square. You'll never you'll never hear JM fucking admit to it that uh, bluntly. Do you want to explain this next picture, Reds? Oh yeah. Um. So why uh, why did Globuster say that you shouldn't debate Reds because of how badly you would embarrass yourself? <laughs> they seem to have zero confidence in your ability to actually debate against me. <laughs> Not even flat earthers think JM's a good flat earther. Nathan Tomp at Nathan Thompson. JM is not the person that should be arguing with Red. You need to step in before he embarrasses himself or <laughs> us anymore. So uh, Nathan Thompson, uh, would, you like to, uh, would you like to would you like to answer uh, for that answer for that uh, comment left by Globe Busters? <laughs> huh? uh, it's just huh? beautiful. Anything you want to say I on the subject? He's gonna say. He's gonna say it's because the sky rotates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think this is the one of my. The sky was rotating, man. I think this is one of my favorite memes. I don't <sighs> think I didn't think you could fit this much stupidity into one photo, but look at them killing it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then fi finally. Uh, you already spilled the beans on this one, but number five was, why did you say you actually did some research when in reality you just took some randos answers off the internet who turned out to be negative exponents trolling you? Oh, uh, he didn't, though. He didn't. But negative exponents, if, you know, I, I think I do a video um, about this whole thing, uh, and I use the, um, the, the audio clean uh, stuff. Um, oh, my God, I've got some more JM memes in my emails. I didn't even check that. <laughs> Then we're gonna have a, we're gonna literally because of Nathan Thompson's stunt and him by default winning fucking dumb fuck of the year this year, we're going to have to give out second and third place trophies because there are people that are just too goddamn deserving of it. J M Truth being one. Yeah, we yeah, have to send I agree. Both trophies, besties, a besties <laughs> trophy. Yeah, a besties trophy. Besties trophy. I mean, seriously, what when a they come dumbass. Together, they can put it together, and it'll make one big trophy. Right, uh, got, so we're just adding a couple more. <laughs> and then I'm going to read out the Super Chats, and then we'll go over to Reds for an after show. Yeah. Uh, JM, add more. Keep the memes coming, guys. By all means, keep the memes coming. After show on my channel. Guys, this is going to be... A fucking dumpster fire. It's going to be an absolute dumpster fire. We're going to go over all of our uh, memories of JM. And over there, actually, we will be uh, listening to, uh, to some audio files from Negative Exponents. I'll be sending uh, Negative Exponents a link in, uh, in Twitter. So Negative Exponents, uh, check your uh, Twitter DMs in about <laughs> five minutes. And uh, we will uh, go over there to uh, continue on the come shit here. show. My, my son, who should be in bed, um, just throw him quickly. Come here and tell, <laughs> tell the audience what, what you think of Flat Earthers. Ridiculous. Come here and tell them. Ridiculous. Is that it? Ridiculous? There we go. Yes. <laughs> right, now go to bed, little man. It's two o'clock in the morning. Why are you out of bed? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my wife's been telling me off a bit lately because I can, you know, I do this late at night and, you know, and I've got a family and I can keep, you know, wake them up sometimes. And I think he's just come in because I've probably woke him up laughing at flower earthers there. But even, even my you know what? It makes sense. Are morons. Uh, it makes right. sense. It now, makes sense. We have a fucking lot of super chats to get through. So let me bash on with these. Um, I just want to say, guys, thank you. Honestly, um, this has been one of the biggest streams I've ever had. Uh, there's there was nearly 1,200 of you watching at one point. It's fucking insane. I love you all. Good um, shit. Round yeah. of applause. Uh, the super nice. chats are Woo. you know incredible. It allows me to keep doing this. You know it, it, the the support I got on Patreon and members and stuff. It 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 allows me to be able to keep doing this. But it, I love all of you. Every single one you watching that have hit the like button. And if you can't support me financially, then best thing to do is just share my videos on Facebook and stuff because that really does help the channel. Smash the like button, share yeah. to every flatter Facebook group you can find. Um, uh, and, and what I'm going to do, 
Yeah, go ahead. Well, uh, let me just interrupt you for just a quick se second. Uh, Fight the Flat Earth, by the way, is Red's Rhetoric approved. So, guys, please support him in any way that you can. Uh, this has been one of the greatest channels for Flat Earth dumpster fires on the face of the fucking internet. So, Red's Rhetoric approved 100%. With that being said, I am going to GTFO to get my stream set up. Um, I already sent you the Meets Link... Uh, fight. Groovy. I am already gonna. I have already sent it to negative exponents. I will be sending it to you, team. And guys, I will see you all on my channel in about half an hour. See you in a bit. So, buddy. guys, Thank you for coming. See you all in a bit. Oh, um, team, anything you want to say before I start right. reading the uh, super chats? Uh, yeah, all that shit that you just said about loving everybody in the chat and loving the people that hit like, share, subscribe, all that. Uh, if your name's Nathan Thompson, it doesn't fucking apply to you, okay? <laughs> yeah, right, and I do have a lot of Super Chats, so I better bash on with these. Um, first of all, oh, wow. I don't even think it goes back to when it started. I think there's a couple missing off of there from even before the stream started, but I've got one, two, three, four, five new members. Um, David Lee... Daniel Copperard, Ooh, Nerd nice. Angel, Crashes, Crashes, and Glober Mummy. Um, thank you all. You can now use the awesome emoji of Nathan Thompson in jail. Um, and we've got Isla Moon, who's just chucked me a 99p sticker. Thank you very much. Um, okay, then we've got Shimoku Fuji Warrior for 40 rubs. I'm not sure what rubs are, but apparently I get 40 of them. Um, awesome. I have a Masters of Comments degree. <laughs> Yes, um, that's more than JM actually has. No matter how many times JM says that he has qualifications in science, he does not. He has a pamphlet-making degree. The plot hole for five pounds says, can we get JM to define evidence without Nathan Thompson's interference? No, I don't know if you guys noticed, but he was being fed by Nathan Thompson through that entire thing. That's why he was looking at his phone all the time. Um, Nathan Thompson, I, I think JM is Nathan Thompson's little um, play toy and tries to control everything that he does. Slickwid Nick for five Canadian dollars says, anyone else catch Natalie smoking some kind of pipe off camera in his last debate? Yeah, we all saw you in the reflection. Ooh, well, I mean, if it's a bit of weed, I'm not too bothered because honestly, I've had to have a smoke during this, but <laughs> um, anything else, naughty boy, but he's really poor and stuff, so he shouldn't be doing that. Um, get a house before you take drugs. 500 <laughs> HPC6 for $5 says cameras destroyed by the radi radiation. No. Film, yeah, that's why it was sealed. Exactly what part of SLR could possibly be destroyed, JM? He wouldn't know, is the answer. Um, then Slickwid Nick for two Canadians says modern day debates during super chats. Um, I'm not sure what you're referencing there, but thank you. John Rapp for two Australian dollars. Um, everyone say hi to John Rapp in the most appropriate way. JM, it's clear you don't understand Coriolis. No flat earther does. We have to drill this into them, guys. The Coriolis is not the earth rotating underneath something. I don't know who started that fucking nonsense, but that is not the Coriolis at all. They need to fucking... I mean, they're never going to learn. What am I talking about? Andrew Stoll for $10 says, If the earth was flat, you should be able to see the mountains around Denver from the tallest buildings in Dallas. Explain why you cannot. Well, Andrew, it's because the earth's not flat. Uh, John Rapp for $2 Australian says working so good day boys and especially the chat good on you mate team give us a good on you mate uh, good on you mate no you suck <laughs> Kaiser Q for $5 says JM can't kilometers or diameter JM can't anything um, he definitely can't tell us what the entropy is measured in um, Loken 16 for $5 says JM fails again every time Monkey Cat Pat Pat for $5 says, Bob didn't say the earth is spinning. He measured it. Exactly. Loken16 for $5 says, JM fail again. Axis. Yeah, how do you say it? Is it axes, team? It's axes, but he kept axes. saying axis. Right. I, that's another thing. See, everybody thought I was being mean. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I held my tongue on that one. I was just like, don't say axis. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've been saying it wrong, though, so... Then we've got um, Jackalope Herdmaster for $2 says, How does gyro work, JM Truth? He, he doesn't know. I've explained it to him many times. 
Christ Puncher, always love that name, for two Canadians, says, ask JM to explain the second law of thermodynamics. Um, I did, but he thinks it's, what was he calling it? Thermal dynamics. Maybe yeah, that's the problem. Dynamics. They've been talking about something else. <laughs> Tommy Gonville for 20 Nokia says, what uh, gas pressure? We got atmospheric pressure. I know, I wanted to push JM on that because he keeps saying they're the same thing. Um, Mouth Breaver for five dollars says, "Since you know so much about the second law of thermodynamics, JM, can you explain a Carnot cycle, please?" Um, no, he could not. T Rock sixty six for four dollars ninety nine says, "Nathan it's Thompson, Carnot, 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 Carnot cycle." My bad. Carnot. T Rock six, uh, sixty six yeah, for four dollars ninety nine says, "Nathan Thompson has a worse win percentage in debates than the Buffalo Bills do in Super Bowls." Yeah, um, this is Nathan God. Thompson after any debate. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I won that debate. I, I won that because he, the whole he said time the atmosphere he, bender. He, the whole time he was... Yeah, he, he the whole time he was reification fallacy <laughs> Oh my goodness. I fucking love you guys with the memes. Um, we got AWSM519 for $5 says, Mr. Modified Sniper, explain to me why a thousand yards, your point of impact is significantly lower when shooting west and higher when shooting east. The answer is Coriolis, but JM doesn't understand what Coriolis is. Uh, Sean Hawkins for $5 says, please ask JM for a link to the full set of data for his long range test. Sean, I've asked him for that many times. He refuses to give it. He says, just look on Google Maps. Um, Gary IOW for five pounds says thermodynamics equals uh, is thermo equals heat, dynamics equals movement. Therefore, the movement of heat or energy, where does matter or gas come into that? I know. Um, and they constantly go, the thermodynamics means you can't have gas pressure next to a vacuum. It doesn't say anything about gas. It's about entropy. String and use one for ten dollars says for the Kirosis Force Fund. <laughs> Thank you, String and use one. Um, I'll forever be in debt for you for helping me out. Uh, you the man. Glass Monster, Five Probably Canadian. Cirrhosis. Cirrhosis. C-I-R-R-H-O-S-I-S. Maybe it's a joke I'm missing. I, I don't know. I think it's cirrhosis. <laughs> Glass Monster. Cirrhosis of the liver, meaning you're drink it's going to cause you to drink. Oh, definitely. <laughs> um, <laughs> Glass Monster for Five Canadian. I have done the pendulum in Snareman experiment in a seven-story elevator shaft. The earth is in fact rotating. Please send me a t-shirt. Um, the t-shirt you can get from my uh, Teespring store. A link in the description. Monkey Cat Pat Pat for $2 says, what the fuck did he just say? <laughs> yeah, n literally every time he spoke, I just wanted to play this. Excuse me. Uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? Like, literally every time he spoke, I wanted to say that. Uh, Red Cosmos Devil for $2 says, JM, what is the zero flaw of thermodynamics? He doesn't even know what the first or the second is. Uh, Morton Nilsson for 35 Donkey Kong dollars, face palms, and then another face palm. All the face palms from JM. Uh, Fargolf92 for $5 says, do I charge FTFE or JM for the next brain cell plush I have to get? The last one has currently imploded in self-defense of the stupidity. <laughs> Chris Victory for 199 says, uh, does JM take a laser and makes pew pew sounds? <laughs> Brad Dubé, long lost cousin. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I do wanna, I do wanna say. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you in the middle of a super chat or getting ready to read no, another right, one? No, sorry, sorry. You go. Um. Okay. So he was saying that uh, natural observations are the only thing that you can use for to for his uh, scientific <clears throat> observations. Uh, yes. However, while he was criticizing. You using you bringing up Bob using the fiber optic gyro. He used a laser, and I'm doing my 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 laser. Uh, he used a laser for his experiment. So not only is he a fucking idiot, but he's also a fucking hypocrite. Yeah, absolutely. Um, everything he says is wrong all of the fucking time. Just pretty much like every flat earther. Oh my god, <laughs> these memes are quite offensive, him, but, but I'm fucking cry. putting them in anyway, I don't care. <laughs> Team, the uh, Tel Aviv weatherman is my favorite. Uh, <laughs> the, the Tel Aviv weatherman. And I'm sure that thing on his head, he only owns one of them. If you look through his videos from the <laughs> video laughing. one to video now, it's gotten progressively more and more yellow. <laughs> That's amazing. That thing on his head used to be wider than his lab coat. 
He's like, if I just shower with it, look, there, it's kind of white. He looks a little younger there. He probably just, like, that was, like, maybe year one of wearing that thing. <laughs> We're up to 37 memes in the JM folder. Oh, my God. Uh, right. So, um, Brad Dubay, long-lost cousin of Eric Dubay for $2, says, Surveying a couple of acres will not show curve. No, not, not just a couple of acres. That's why they surveyed... I mean, it, you pretty well still be able to kind of see the, the curve like on, on minute scale, but no. That's why the surveying operations were across like the entire American continent or India or something, and they all showed a curve. Eric Billadieu for Five Canadians says, JM, you said anyone can make a mathematical equation to describe a circle. So what is it? No, anyone doesn't include him because he doesn't believe in maths. Math and magic, he calls it. 100 Steve B for five pounds says... But he's a physics enthusiast, which is applied yeah. mathematics. Yeah. Um, 100 Steve B for five pounds says, an airliner uses three different ring laser gyros. Each one is sensitive to only one axis. Uh... Yeah, um, I mean, but they th theoretically could pick up all three, but they use one for your one for pitch, and one for roll. Um, Bella Charge New Zealand for $5 says, So professionals need to know how their gear works. What is Pan JM? DC Customs might be able to help you with that. He's busy polishing his Emmy. Uh, <laughs> Kaiser Q for $2 says, JM can't law of conservation of energy. Anthony Purcell says, for two Australian, can I please explain how geodesy works? Yes, I saw your email, and I'd very much like that improve my argument. Brian Peck for $2 says, natural in science means not supernatural. Yeah, I, try, I was going to get there, but he ran away. David Oliver for £5 says, JM Truth, the gas does exist next to a vacuum of space. Space does not sack, uh, suck its natural pressure gradient. Um, Kaiser Q for five dollars says JM leaning stuff is actually causing him JM learning stuff is actually causing him physical pain. I don't think it's possible for him to actually learn, honestly. Oh, Crafty Keela for two euros says for Team Skeptic hearts. You get lots of hearts from Crafty Keela. Oh, that was when JM was crying about me <laughs> going butting in. I remember he, he also cried when I said max max level retard. He was like, I yeah. can't believe that you have to say that. You're supposed to be impartial. So I was like, all right, go ahead and fight you moron. <laughs> he, he, I was like, there he's even. Yeah, he was like, oh, fuck. Uh, glass, glass Monster for Two Canadians says, Flurf, do you have a... Flurf, do you have a brain? I would say you do not. Sorry, I had to look at what the emoji was there. Thank you. Uh, Jared Silik for five euros says, there we go. 1,000 came here to div give JM a farewell laugh. Yeah, thank you guys. I can't believe there are so many of you watching. It blew me away. The banner of Hermura Akimi says, for five dollars, can we get some positive evidence for Flat Earth instead of JM's idiotic rhetoric? No, never. Carrie Oliver for thirty-three dollars. And he didn't address. And he did not address. Uh, I'm sorry. He did not address anything you said either. No, no. Uh, I had during to, his rebuttal. That's time. why I interrupted. Everything I wanted to try and back bring him to back. the rhetoric. <laughs> yeah. You were absolutely right for interrupting him. He wasn't following the fucking the procedure that we talked about uh, before the stream started. He's a uh, moron. Carrie Oliver for thirty-three, thirty-three says, "Okay, can we say the hell with flat Earth and COVID nineteen?" And come together to fight these murder hornets. They're in Washington already. Yeah, fuck the murder hornets. Um, I mean, 2020 has been the a fucking hell of it. Oh, there, there's like this new... Well, um, a hornet has come from somewhere else is like wiping out all the other hornets. And they're really... They attack people and they're nasty. Uh, I like, fucking hate hornets. Bees don't bother me. I no, I'm the same. I don't hornets like wasps and, wasps and hornets. Oh my god. I mean... 2020 has been a fucking hell of a year. Do you remember when, like, the defining feature was the fucking Australian bushfires? Everyone's like, oh, shit, that was a thing now. God damn. Right? We've had so much. And then there's yeah. the, uh, the locust of... Um... Yeah. Um, uh, oh, and I need to say, I feel so <clears throat> stupid because the entire time I called them cicadas, and it's cicadas. Cicadas. I'm so dumb. And did you know that pretty it much is, all of Siberia is on fire at the moment? Because of bushfires? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, there's so much bad. 2020 can eat a dick. David Oliver for five pounds says, Craig FTFE showed JM the spinning fish tank by Bob the Science Guy. Um, I would have loved to, but he ran away. 
Brad Dubay for two dollars says Bob's gyro is more accurate than others. No. Uh, Anamorphic Mind for two dollars says hashtag stop censoring FTFE. Yeah, never censor me. Nerd Angel for two dollars ninety nine says roll pitch yaw. That's three, bro. Uh, exactly. Matthew Matthews for five Australian dollars says Team Skeptic get FTFE out of there before he gets arrested for attempted murder. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go into hiding after that. For sure. RT96 for two dollars says dictionaries are not naturally occurring phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, the flatter of argument by dictionary is is ridiculous. Tommy Granville uh, for twenty Nokia's natural as in not unnatural as in ghosts. You mean I can't do scientific experiments with ghosts? That's no fun. Um, saying that, I'm going to be having a debate soon on the supernatural with Rampant, who is a channel member and constantly sends me claps. So that's going to be fun. Hey. Um, it, it should be a light debate. I want to moderate hopefully. that. Yeah, yeah, it should be a nice fun debate. I'm looking forward to I'm that. Gonna, I want to moderate that. <clears throat> Kaiser I just want to. I just want to mute Rampant. Yeah. <laughs> Kaiser Q for five dollars <laughs> says, "I've never seen a Bose and uh, a Bose Einstein condensate occur naturally. Something occurring in nature doesn't have to occur naturally, physical and natural." No, he doesn't understand. Matt Rock for two dollars says, "Is JM conceding thirty-six mil laser measures not science?" Um, no. He doesn't understand. Anthony Purcell for two Australian dollars says, so JM's laser experiment is natural? No, it's not. Morton Nilsson for four Ah, five. look. There's somebody else called it. Yeah. Yeah, a bunch of people have. Oh, Morton sorry, Nilsson sorry. for 45 Donkey Kong dollars says, so no science is just involved in building airplanes. Whoa. Just whoa. <laughs> yeah, they, they, oh, they don't understand fucking anything. The Athens 619 for $5 says, A natural observation is Nathan Thompson and JM showing their Dunning-Kruger. Yeah, they're all top left, 100%. Um, Anamorphic Mind for $5 says, Is it legal to show a live murder? JM for DFOTY 2020. Him and Nathan Thompson are going to be fighting it out for yep. the top spot this year, I think. We have fucking Unirock just behind. It's going to be hard to beat. I I'm telling you, they need a Besties Award. And yeah. they need to both get Dumb Fuck of the Year. Nathan can't not win after doing the whole uh, trying to, you know, harass Shouting children, children at school yeah. thing. That, <laughs> he has to win. That has to win. But JM Truth, I just want him to win, man. You know, maybe, maybe that's why I've been, like, just out of it lately is because my whole motivation towards, you know, trying to reform that dumbass is, you know, yeah. draining me. Maybe I just need to push for fucking dumb fuck of the year, step my nuts up, and get it moving, you know? Yeah. He's definitely going to be up there, but I think it would be nice if he was a perpetual second place like Stephen Warrior was for a while. <laughs> right, then we've got Nerthan Tom Nerthan Thompson for five Australian dollars says, hmm, don't know if it's the quarantine or just preemptive for Pride Month, but I wanted to let everyone know I am very not straight and I love you all. Well, we love you as well, and it doesn't matter if you're, if you're gay or straight, doesn't change a thing about you and I've always said to my kids well I've always said to my wife about the kids I wouldn't care if my kids came to me and said they were gay the only thing I'd be against is if my kids came to me and said they were a flat earther they'd be moving out <laughs> <laughs> Luce and Andreas for 10 Ron says Craig stop cherry picking yeah evidence right Anthony Purcell for 10 Australian dollars says conservation of energy a gas molecule earth surface has finite energy and can therefore only travel a finite distance upwards against a downward force hence an atmosphere on earth's surface yeah that's what I'm saying about the barrier is the energy required to escape gravity if you don't have enough energy then you don't get out of the you know the downward force simple as that um, thank you very much for that Adamant Forge for two dollars says JM what does E in STEM science stands for he doesn't know um, it's science, technology, engineering, uh, isn't it? Holy shit! What does it stand for? It, I no. It, it, e stands for elusiveness. Uh, <laughs> science being super elusive to JM. Yeah. Anything in the STEM. <laughs> electronics, as I believe, is what it stands for. Yeah. Or either electronic. Or oh no, it's engineering. Maybe. Science, either technology, engineering, 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 mathematics. Yeah, I just couldn't remember what the E was for a second there. Math. Yeah. <laughs> Technology is is the ele electronics, just like uh, yeah. M for medicine is in science, not in the M. That's math. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, I was wrong. It, it is engineering. Jessica G for two dollars mm -hmm. says, "When James smiles, he looks like a jack o' lantern." <laughs> Let's get some memes in about James being a jack o' lantern. Then, oh, I've just got a new meme team. Um, I think you'll like this one. 
The modified sniper one, though. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on. Come here, damn, I need a spotter. Yeah, here's the new one. I've just Lean over, you. bud. Uh. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that one. I fucking love you guys. Oh, uh, right, where are we? Um... T-Rock66 for $4.99 says, Refusal to answer means you don't know the answer, JM. Ding. He was being such a baby when I guessed him. <laughs> that was funny. Sleepy Dan for $2.00 says... Oh, yeah, when I asked him what, uh, oh, what the yeah. units of entropy are, and he's yeah, like, I'm not, oh... I'm not going to tell you. I mean, look, we question, we question your knowledge of physics. We, we give you a softball, a layup, right? I gave him two layups. One, I'm not going to call the knowing the uh, joules per Kelvin is how you measure entropy. I'm not going to call that a layup because that's something that if you taught a course on the second law of thermodynamics, you would know. But not everybody would know that. The second one, the one where I asked him what the excel how to how to calculate the acceleration of an object going around in a circle, that one he should have known. It should have just been immediate. Yeah. So he he doesn't know the first thing about physics at all. None of them do. Uh, and I honestly don't understand why they keep claiming they do when it's so obvious they don't. Sleepy Dan for two dollars says Kant science or second law. What a J embarrassment. Yeah, I know. Um, and he's already been abandoned by the rest of Flat Earth. And talking about rampant, here he is with a thousand claps. Team Skeptic, are you still going to make JM a Glober? I don't know if it's possible, is it, team? No. I don't, th I don't no. want him on my side. No. I, <laughs> I don't want him over here either. I'd prefer he just go over there, stay over there, and continue to give us something to point and laugh at. Yeah. Because it's so easy to laugh at you, JM. Especially so when you do and say stupid things, and that occurs every time you open your fucking mouth. So please open your fucking mouth more, so we can get more information on you, more more stuff for for more material for our videos and for our dumb fuck of the year competitions. Yeah, uh, I expect amazing. to see a bunch of videos with what the shit he said in this one. Honestly, Kaiser Q for two dollars says J M can't joules per Kelvin. No, <laughs> because that's what we wanted him to say was the fucking unit of measure of entropy. Uh, unit of entropy, but he just shut us up. That's that's why yeah. I'm saying he doesn't know. He would have been, a, he, but all that questioning we do, if we'd have asked him that, and he'd have known that, he'd have been like, "Oh, it's joules per Kelvin." So shut the fuck up. I know what I'm talking about. He's done it before. He's yeah. acted like that before. Why didn't he act like this now? Well, because he didn't know the answer to that question. Of course that's he why. God the scummer for five pounds says, "When JM said he's an idiot, that was the first entirely accurate natural and physical observation he has ever made." Yeah, that might have been the first right thing he ever <laughs> right. said in his life. Good job. TJ Snape for $2 says, please ask about the 20 seconds. It made him run away. Gently's channel for £5 says, taught a class on thermal dynamics, but has never heard of thermodynamics. <laughs> JL Warren for $4.99 says, JM, I'm in the face of centuries of, of demonstrable evidence, why do you need the earth to be flat so badly? For his ego, basically. Um, Dance an ostrich for five pound. FTFE. Ever feel you back the wrong pony? Low. Dumb fuck of the year. No, I was right for Anthony Riley last year, but it's going to be a tough run between JM and um, oh, and Nathan you, this year. You were wrong. No, you were wrong, bro. He deserved sorry. it. <laughs> Another I, thousand I claps from Rampant. I agree with everybody in the chat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Another thousand claps from Rampant. He's having a baby tantrum. What is wrong with him? He's a baby. Anthony Purcell for five Australian says you don't need you don't take people's word for it except for Bob of course you're a complete hypocrite J M I hope you're still watching his ego probably means he is hi J M uh, War Codero uh, War Cod -er, I don't know what it says O one for two dollars says audio evidence of me lying must be CGI yeah as soon as I said I've got um, the the audio footage the audio clips he's like yeah it can be manipulated. <laughs> God the Scummer for £5 says, Please alert, FTFE wanted for the public murder of JM Truth. I know, I'm going to have to go into hiding. Christopher Hogan for $2 says, Good day, sir. I said good day. <laughs> that was JM leaving. Crafty Keeler for €2 Euros says, Rage quit. Yeah, that brings it up to number 8 for this uh, year so far. T-Rock 66 for $4.99. JM, folds arms. I'm done with them proving me wrong. I have Flurfers and Globers proving me as an idiot now. So boo-hoo, I'm running away. <laughs> and another thousand claps from Rampant mm -hmm. makes me sad when you treat him like garbage. It's hard not to, though. 
Um, Castillo Fury for five foot dollars says FTFE team and Reds. Thank you guys for doing what you do. We fucking love it. It's so funny. William Foley for ten dollars says, "Well done, sir. Well done, good sir. Thank you very much." Jackalope Herdmaster for two dollars says, "JM for dumb fuck of the year 2020 runner up. Natalie for first. I think that might happen." <laughs> Uh, Crafty Kila for two euros says three cheers for thermo thermal dynamics. I might make a t-shirt with thermal dynamics on. Space Monkey 7777 for five dollars says electronics is a science with no natural observations. We manipulated electrons way before we could see them. Yeah, it works. Busted. Vishanti for two dollars says Craig about to be arrested for committing murder. Yeah, definitely. I always enjoy it though. Rachel Daniels for two dollars. Australian says I really needed this today. Great work. Happy to oblige. Crafty Keeler for two euros says, negative exponents, thank you for your genius. Yeah, massive troll. You win the internet. Well done. Raven Zero for two dollars. Craig, just rip and tear JM until it's done. I did, and he ran away. Silix X 60, Silix X 666 for two pounds says, Craig, I bow down to thee, sir. Thank you. Monkey Cat Pat Pat for five dollars. And JM gets on his flat horse and rides off into the impossible... Flat Earth Sunset. Peter Bridey for £10 says, JM claims to know science, yet can understand stuff. I haven't had trouble with since I was 12. Good riddance. Banner of Humura Akimi for $2 says, JM couldn't hear over all the light in the room. It was too bright, team, and he couldn't hear all the arguments. That was the problem. Yeah. Got to turn those lights down, guys. Another 2,500 claps from Rampant. Mm -hmm. Life is going a bit downhill recently. Having depression is tough. But I can always count with you guys to give me a smile. Thank guys, keep it real. Just remember, Rampant, I love you. And many other people do in this world. This has been shit times for everyone, but we will get through it. And whilst we're trying, me and team will keep you entertained. God the Scummer for £5 says, Nathan will win the race for DFOTY, but JM will cross the finish line 20 seconds later. But um shh. Oh shit. <laughs> Sandy Smith for $2 says, Ask JM's wife about his 20 second discrepancy. <laughs> Oofed. <laughs> Space Monkey 7777 for $2 says, uh, Meme to flurfs means me, me. Woohoo. Memes are evidence for flurfs. Uh, we're nearly done. Crafty Kilo for two euros says, Red's rhetoric impression of FTFE is uncanny. Yeah, we are the same person if you didn't realize, actually. And team is also the same person. We're all the same person. Isn't that right, team? Yep. He didn't, he I've didn't been called me. red since day one. <laughs> um, Lucien Andreas for 10 Ron says his degrees are a few degrees off. But um, Crafty Kila for two euros says reds and astronomy live. Yeah. Mad respect for what you do. Yeah, the fact that they make all the evidence makes things easier for us. Um, where are we? Oh, I lost it. Uh, David Oliver for £5 says, Reds, have you seen periodic table of videos showing the chemical reaction of rocket fuel and how it works? Why don't you go over to Redstream and ask him there? He might answer it there. Super Chicken 73 for $5 says, you guys are awesome. Thank you. No, Super Chicken, you are awesome. Um, thank you for protecting all the chickens. Edward Eric for $2 says, please play negative exponents audio of the pool. I missed it. I'm going to make a video. Don't worry. Glober Mummy for $5 says, Globuster tells Nathan to stop because JM is an embarrassment while debating Reds. Nathan the embarrass then embarrasses himself while debating FTFE. Yeah, I've destroyed them both recently. Feel good. Jane Doe for $4.99. Thanks to all who helped orchestrate this. It was ec epic. The plot hole for $2 says FTFE will be on the plot hole Friday debating. Yes, I will. On Friday, I'm going to be debating a COVID idiot on the plot hole. Um, so make sure you go to, was it Rock Metal TV team? What's the website? Rockmetaltalk.com rockmetaltalk.com uh, then we've got three new members yeah, Chopin666 Sandy Smith and Mr. Present 99 thank you very much guys Chrisma and Dave for two dollars I have a Masters of ASCII degree and you're so good at it Crafty Keto uh -huh. for two euros when it takes 30 minutes to go through Super Chats I know you guys are fucking amazing this has been insane I love you all uh, Les Peter Guitar Jam for nine Donkey Kong dollars with a smiley face emoji thank you Mr. Present for two euros says, just became a member. This was epic. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Tommy Gronville for 20 Nokias. Now I'm actually paying you to check Discord. Um, what did I miss, Tommy? Mm. Oh, he's got some memes for me. Sorry. All right, I'll add those to the pile. There we go. Thank you. 
uh, refresh. Okay. We're nearly there, guys, honestly. Uh, Warco01 for $5 says, JM loves physics, loves how they can see the future and talks to ghosts. Uh, Vishanti, $2, <laughs> uh, says, Dumb fuck year 2020, double ended dildo. Oofed. <laughs> That's an image I didn't want in my brain. Thanks. Crafty Keeler for five euros. Do you think if Thompson doesn't win Dumb Fuck of the Year, he'd try harder for next year? He doesn't need to try hard. He's just going to do it every time he opens his fucking mouth. MC Toon for $4.99 says, I'm hosting debates that matter number three soon. I can't say much, but this hint, me love cookies. Yeah, make sure you check out MC Toon's Tuesday night debate soon. Then we've got Glass Monster for two Canadian dollars says, Hono or Flurf? At least a Hono has a brain. I don't know what a Hono is. Uh, then another member, Point and Laugh. Thank you very much. Uh, let me just check. I've had no more come in because it's not letting me go down and view the rest. Honestly, you guys have fucking blown me away tonight with the uh, the amount of support that you've given me. Um, I, I don't know what to say. Um, okay, where did we get to? And then we got John Rapp, the last one on there. For $2, uh, Australian says... One in the chat for victory dance for the boys. Yeah, seriously, guys, thank you very much. Um, it's been an awesome night. Um, I had so many people watching, and, you know, it just means the world that you show me this support. Uh, I've got a new video that should hopefully be out tomorrow, and that is about Covidiots. Teams helped me out with that. We're going to be over on Teams, very on oh, Red's yeah. Rhetoric's channel very soon for an after show about this. Any final thoughts, team? Uh, no, man. Sorry if I fucking butted in and made him cry. Um, because <laughs> it's so that easy wasn't to make him cry, intention. though. God, he gets so triggered so easy. I know, right? It's so much fun. Like, I love making him so mad. They're like, what? Team, why? Why, team? Why do you have to bring him fight? You always have to bring team with you? No, it's fucking, I love fucking making fun of you dickweeds. Yeah, absolutely. You guys are fucking easy targets. No, I, I, y'all are, y'all are sent really just practice. Yeah, I come in and I practice live fucking, live fucking making fun of people so that way I can have better written shit. So thank you, JM, for participating in my practice session. Uh, you're an idiot. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Right. Ding, ding, yeah. Thank and you I'll for joining me, team, as Reddit. always. Um, I, I love having you on the channel. It just makes things so much more fun. So thank you for coming. Oh, yeah. No, we'll uh, have a live stream on my channel um, in the next day or two, guys. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Crafty Keeler for two euros. One final heart for <coughs> FTFE and Team Skeptic, where all the hearts back up all of you guys. Thank you, Crafty. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed JM's final word on Flat Earth. He is now absolutely destroyed and should never talk about it again. We'll see you all over on, t on Reg's channel really soon. Remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flat earth. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the fight the fight. Fight the flat. 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 Fight the fight the fight. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the flat.